There we go. Hey guys, welcome back in. Two o'clock on a uh, Thursday afternoon here as we head back to the downside. It's always Kashkari's fault, it seems, but uh, talking the market back down, talking uh, inflation, talking about some sticky inflation in services and in housing, saying we still have more work to do as far as the fight uh, that continues with uh, inflation. Here is how uh, the market is right now. 0.23 only left over there for the S&P 500. Yeah, we're right back to exactly flat right now for the Dow. Half a percent still in positive territory for the NASDAQ. So uh, still plenty of time here to get something uh, positive on the board, at least for the day. Uh, full percent and then some, one and a half even for crude oil. Yeah, we're back in the red for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Two percent and 1.8 percent uh, BTC crypto in general. Not liking these comments either about inflation and uh, how it is sticking around a little bit. Uh, it's the banks that are dragging on the entire market at this point, individual banks specifically, but also uh, Schwab down here. We talked about it a little bit. If you joined us in the pre-market this morning, now 5.9% in negative territory on a downgrade uh, this morning for Schwab. There's FRC, 4%, KeyBank here, HBAN, uh, MTB, CMA to name a few, uh, 2 to 4% negative territory. But if you, if you minus that, if you just cover that up on your screen, it's still pretty green board, not bad. Uh, right across uh, the entire thing outside match here, CTLT was an earnings name. Uh, pay X 2.2% as well, uh, downside. But tech, consumer discretionary down here, uh, material, energy, and real estate stocks uh, still offsetting enough to keep the market overall in positive territory. So 0.28 left over with a couple hours left. Hopefully they'll get... Ashkari off the stage and away from a microphone so we can maybe, uh, as I said, put a positive number on the board. Hope your afternoon is going well. It was a pretty clear uh, directional change there for the overall market as soon as he almost uh, came on and started talking. So uh, we'll keep an eye on uh, any more comments that are coming through. Remember, uh, Janet Yellen next on the docket. Uh, typically doesn't move the market when she speaks, but could. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. That's coming up at 3.45, so just 15 minutes before we get to the close of the day. Let's get into what was available this morning for trading opportunities. There was a ton. Once again, we were dealing with uh, a whole bunch, a wide range, really, from tech right through to banks we were discussing a little bit. Uh, so uh, a lot of things to look at this morning. We'll uh, touch on a few of those right now, including one from Sean in, wait for it, two minutes. Now he's ready. Okay, let's go, Sean. It's your trade of the day and it's brought to you by Day Trade the World. Make sure you scan that QR code below and start your prop journey with the best today. Look, okay, we normally trade chip names and their AMDs, their NVIDIAs, but recently I've actually been on Intel. And why? Intel's bottomed out, I think. Uh, now we're above 30 bucks, we're into $32, and it's starting to make a move upside. We had that news yesterday, and now today it's on the radar, so it was a very early trade for me. And I put on the sticky note that we'd have to be very patient today. As you can see, the markets come back down a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you can see right here, but the NASDAQ started off quite nice with a nice little move early. Uh, got above 13,000, of course, and still staying up there. We just bounce off 13,000 now. We know we want to be long if the market's above 13. We talked about that. Actually, as long as it's above 12.8, I'm pretty comfortable. But right now, we're 13,000 and upside. So we're looking for the long. The thing about Intel is let's just talk about what we waited for. So we don't get in until just after 10 o'clock. And the thing is, we let it make this sort of beginning range for itself. And I put these two lines down here. This first one's 31.85. So there was some dips down there right into the 200 period, sort of respecting this 3175 area. But I drew this 3185. Why? Because that was really the pre-market level, despite a little bit of a move down and then back up right there off the open. Remember, we have market on open orders, definitely affecting some of these plays, right? So you get a big green candle. But look at this. If we just go right back, this is yesterday's close. So yesterday we were right here at 31.85 before dumping back in on big sell balance that came at the end of the day. So that's fine. We watch out for that 31.85 level, right? So that was our key. So once it started bouncing around a little bit, we have the huge move up. We should have took it early off that level, but like I said, we're trying to be patient. So miss that trade right there. But there it is. We identify that top mark, which is 31, which is sorry, 
32.35, okay? So right there, as it falls back in, we let it start to develop a range. We know we have this 31.85 in mind. Let it develop a range. Not only that, it touches it to the, to the point, I was gonna say to the dollar, to the penny, then it comes back in and I say, you know what? I'm not even gonna wait for 32 to break. So we get 31.95 right there. Then it starts to accelerate to the upside. First out, always get, I mean, I always get them out at VWAP. It's only five cents, or sorry, 10 cents. Then we get 15 cents, so on and so forth, as it starts to raise up. And I'm thinking that that's gonna be our top. Because remember, we take pieces out here because we're going R one to one, risk to reward, because our out's gonna be a break right there. So 10 cents, not a huge, huge out. But so we're taking 10 cents right away. This is, this fill right there, so that's out a little bit. That fill right there is 20s. So right there, we're making 25 cents. So we're a little more than two to one on that trade. Then as it blows up, that's our best fill right there, uh, 32.25. Then it breaks, so finally it breaks, comes back down, we get a piece out thinking that that's the top. We hold for the break, it breaks, so we get a piece out when it breaks. Then we let this thing run, and it doesn't run that far before eventually we get out right there. Well, actually, we don't even give it that out. It comes back there, and remember, when we hit past highs and then fail, I'm gonna get out on my next indicator, and that was the 50 period. So there's the last piece out. It's at 32.30 or 32.25. Out rate, ah, actually it was 25. Remember, we talked about that on the show. So right there, it's a nice 30 cent win to end the trade on uh, Intel. And it was a three to one by all said and done. The thing to learn here was, Opening range supported, we take the long once it falls back in, then once we go back up to the upside, hits the high of the day, rejects, comes back, hits it again, rejects, that's where we get out. So it's your trade of the day, it's Intel, it was I. It was a great uh, move for not only uh, Intel, but uh, some of the other chips as well, uh, showing all kinds of strength once again. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that link, scan that link, uh, enter your email address, grab that every single morning. Free from us, everything you need to know in the pre-market uh, before we come on at uh, 8.30. I was just grabbing this uh, note on Meta because we'll start things off with a look back at some of the big tech names this morning. We were discussing the fact that it really wasn't you know, big news or, or breaking news anyways in this group. Um, we did touch on uh, a bit of a move that Meta made going into the close, back to the downside. We'll look at that in a sec. But uh, this is what was uh, worth noting, anyways, in the pre-market. Uh, the EU, uh, they're discussing, anyways, uh, being able to give them the ability to opt out of some ad targeted ads uh, over in the EU uh, for Meta. And then uh, Apple announced late yesterday it'll host its annual uh, worldwide Developer Conference coming up in June. A lot of people then immediately suggesting that that is when we'll get a VR headset uh, from Apple. Typically some product launches come out of that uh, event every single year. So uh, big tech was leading as uh, we went into lunchtime and then something happened anyways, Neil. Uh, what do we do with these today here? Kari. <laughs> oh, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? It's like he's got such a great name, so why does he have to be so bad to the markets, right? Come on, Neil. He spells it the wrong way. That's why. That's why. Um, I'm actually in, I'm in meta right now. Look, the 208 level was a really good one. I, I really should have stuck with shorting that level, but here it is. There's, there's a 15-minute chart. Yeah, I see that 208. I had the long, but that was a pre-market trade. Did not like the way that it filled. Had my stop in there, got out, missed the shot at the open. We we're trading a few other things at the open. Obviously, you guys would have seen in the morning show. Um, I did short that 06 originally, kind of a stop, quick stop out. Then we had the 08 short first time good, second time not so much. And now we're long off this 06 level. So I'm looking for this to start holding. Like there was some underfills here where you got like 05, 90 something. So I have an 06, uh, 07 price. So like 206 sevens. It tries to hold VWAP here. I took a couple legs out, still holding half the position, looking to take almost all out into 207 and a half. Just see where this one goes. Now, obviously, um, I see a lot of people, most people have been betting that uh, we're going to go green today, and we just bounce the ES actually bouncing off of pretty much dead flat. So right now the market's teetering a little bit, although I would say like the trend has been pretty clean. Like, you look at the S&P 500, it's been a pretty clean downward trend. Even the NASDAQ from the opening highs, kind of the same thing. So we're looking at a little bit of weakness there. Whoops, why did I open that up? A little bit of weakness there. Yet I'm picking a name that 
is at least trying to hold the higher low and show you some strength. I'm going to give you one other one because NVIDIA, I'm still in, I'm still in Intel. I have a firm to the short side. I'm, I'm short Tesla as well. But NVIDIA got to that 275 and reversed. This is another name. The second it rejected that level, lower high, this feels like an, a short uh, this afternoon on NVIDIA. It's been such a monster uh, runner, and it's kind of run into this wall at 275. And if you look at what happens each time it gets there, you're just looking short until a major move happens, right? You're looking short, you're looking short, you're looking short. It then makes a bottom. That's a good wipeout bottom, kind of breaks the support level breaks back above the support level, gap up, so you look for a long on that day. But I think you're now looking for short for a couple of days on NVIDIA. Uh, I suppose we could hold low of the day. That would be a good sign. But, yeah, the first pop, I'll probably take 73. Maybe the 74 level is a little bit better. But uh, NVIDIA, once again, that 275. There were a lot of highs that were really good to put in uh, this morning or this afternoon, I guess, at lunchtime. Uh, NVIDIA would have been one of them. I was on Meta. I'm on Tesla, but I should have been on NVIDIA 75s as well. All right. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, thanks, Neil. I got my uh, headset paired. And I apologize because I got the hazelnut coffee here, so you're going to make I can smell it. I smell it. Yeah. Flavored coffee Shout is not fair. Uh, we, we don't get flavored coffee at the yeah, office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when Sean brings it, it's like, okay. Yeah. And we had to have Timmy's. from this morning. Our espresso machine was broken for the last fixed. few Fixed. And it's fixed now, but I don't drink coffee yeah, in the hallelujah. afternoon. Hallelujah. So. Uh, all right, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that one. I just told Max that Amazon was at 60, but it actually stopped at 57, so I hope he got the fill. Um, but there it is right now. So we just, uh, we actually took Amazon here, and it's just an average price. So, you know, we're, we're down here showing the long right now, but we need this to go back all the way to VWAP. So I like Amazon down here. We put this down on our sticky note from earlier, and here it is. It's this, whoops, it's the same kind of trade twice. Uh, defending this, uh, well, actually this one's lower. This was defending that early range, again, similar to the trade we made on Intel, where we defended this bottom break, and then now it's a nice upside move uh, right there where we managed to get about a dollar on this trade. That's early, so that's a dollar win right there, and we're out, um, and then we tried it again at that same level then we but again not as many shares right the market's heading to the downside here the market was clearly bullish this morning um, so we had to wait for 101 before we put on some good shares but it's back up to the upside this is a winning trade uh, right now other than that I mean we already did Intel and then we can talk about square no but square uh, today we tried to buy it early got out of it then we bought it down here made that money back a little bit defending 68 it broke 68 we got out that was a bad idea because it went all the way back up. But right now, Square, right near these bottoms again. I actually like this name. Let's see if we can defend this opening spot again. 67 is where we were before this bump in the pre-market. If we get anywhere back down here, I like the long for Square today. All right, let's talk about Roku. Uh, we were wondering if it was going to be a positive day. <laughs> Answer, no. Uh, definitely not. Down 4% right now for Roku. There was barely a bid at the open. We did test the uh, pre-market high there initially, but yeah, not much to say here, guys. $6 straight southbound. We're right back through the daily range as well. Uh, if you miss it this morning, they just announced they're going to lay off uh, 200 people. So that was the gap anyways, but uh, short-lived for Roku. Oh. So we did something new for the first time today uh, with the watch list, which was sort of, I think we're going to do this from I'm chuckling because what's what it actually says, but it's it's really funny. It's not funny if you're me, but it's actually really funny. Uh, so we put a link in there. We're like, well, let's actually maybe put a little bit more content in the, our free watch list. Uh, so we put a link. Sometimes we'll, we'll maybe do articles, but this one was more of a technical thing. So I looked at Roku, and this is 67 on the daily chart in Roku. Like short this zone on Roku is essentially what I was getting at. And if it breaks out 68, you go long. Well, it's all well and good to say that. So this is 67 on Roku, and this is what happened for the rest of the day. You'll notice the absence, so we show you guys all of our trades and our executions. So when you see a move like this, and there's no purple arrow pointing down, that means I didn't actually short the stock. Uh, so that sucked. Roku did not, I mean, it, it did not pass go. It did not collect any money. It just absolutely defecated all over itself for the entirety of the day. Uh, until it got to $60, and now it's bouncing. So that sucks. And it, 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 com it comes down to this. Like, obviously, 
You guys know I wanted a firm. I, I talked about a firm the last couple of days. You know I liked Intel. Um, there's no chance that we're not going to be trading some of those off the open. I was all over Netflix today. You're going to have your list of priorities. However, sometimes a level sets up that's really, really good, and you want to make sure you have it. Like, Risk to War was pretty fantastic on this. We're here to show you guys, like, what you should be looking for. That just stood out on the daily chart. I'm not sure there's a trade this afternoon on it. Um... Because now, like, here's the, pr the problem with Roku is look where you are now. Like, you're kind of in this, in this kind of nonsense range in between the 50 and the 200 where you're probably shorting off. Now you're shorting off the 50 period, sort of the 200 at 64. I guess it, it, maybe it wants to hold that 60 even or hold a 50 period. It's just condensing for a break one way or the other. So this afternoon, it would have to go to 64 for me to like it. It would have to go to 60 for me to like it. Not going to touch anything else inside. But sometimes these levels are fantastic. And every time it's gone there, it's been a money short. Not by a little, but generally by a lot. There's one day that if you shorted that high, it didn't give you a win. One day in the last month, essentially, uh, on Roku, that if you got up to that top, you didn't get a win on the short. So I don't have it, but uh, it was a good learning experience for me, at least. We'll have, um, I see everyone checking their points and stuff like that. We do have this new thing from Streamlabs. Uh, Proud was doing a good job explaining it. Green. You can, the longer you watch it, the more points you get, and then you can bet them and gamble them and things like that. We'll have more to come uh, on that. I think we should, maybe we'll prepare a PDF or something uh, that we could talk about or we can get uh, Proud to come back on again. But I think that's pretty good, pretty make, much makes yeah. sense that when we have a poll, you can then vote on that poll yes. and bet a certain amount. Like I just bet 500 points on green. Do you so even have 500 points? I, it, I think it said I, I was able to do it. I don't you know. You don't have 500 points. I, I thought I had 980. Hold on. So what I got to no, do. No, the leader has 980. Hold I on. Think, like, Maybe I don't. What do I put in? My points? I don't yeah, think I got you the have. Exclamation. I, I have like 440. I'm going to see. I just put in points. Everyone's doing it right now. Let me see how many points I have here. Come to my screen here. Uh, there it is. Talk to you. Oh, yeah. No, but I think I bet. Can I see how many points? I, can I bet? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I had enough points, bro. I'm pretty no sure. No chance. The I, leaderboard, there's only like 10 people that had like 700 points. All right, points. here's, oops, that's not go the, to the Go to the leaderboard. No, Actually, the, I have to find the leaderboard. Hold well, on let me get the leaderboard because I got it up. I, I just, here's know, the, are, here's the, here's the leaderboard. This is, this is why, this is why I'm, I'm calling Fugues because I have it up, right? Number. Refresh. They're calling, they're telling you to refresh. I have Tell it up me to refresh. Too. How could you have gained 500 points in the last hour, Prad? Don't worry, So I do this and I go to points. Where am I at? I'm not even on the first board. Yeah, because so you don't, wa you don't watch enough. You don't watch enough. Beat Fanatic. Take Profit 927. Comp SRX 895. Darwin 865. John Spruill. Farm Trader Frank Jones. What's up, farm uh, thank trader? you. Renata's in there for. I'm on What's page up, two, man. Where the hell am I? Like I've already bet. I only have 328 points. You could just push in. There, right, there it is. I'm 399. But I bet. I bet 50. I bet 50 on red because you get a better payout. Because if everyone bets on green, my payout just keeps on getting better and better. Nobody so. understands the rules, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. No, it's because so if okay, if it's eighty percent bet towards green on the, uh, for the market, yeah, then you get then you are you're at like minus one eighty, for example, exactly. for, yeah, for yeah. the way it bets. And then if you bet red, then you'd get like plus four hundred or whatever the odds are, because there'll be twenty times. So so four times your bet, right? Because you're twenty percent against you, so five times plus five hundred. That's roughly the way it's going to work. But don't everyone worry, everyone bet green. If you don't bet green, you're not going to win. Everyone bet market, green because I bet red. So that way, at least if I win, then it's a much bigger payout. Everyone bet green. I'm pretty sure I bet 500 points, bro. So we're, yeah, yeah, we got. So now, now not only do we not have to analyze the market, we just bet based on the odds that are set by the viewers. Like that, that that's what's happening uh, right now. I just want to talk quickly oh, because Amazon, doing? and then we'll go back over. We'll talk about Alibaba in a second. Amazon right here. I just want to tell everyone that like you're coming into an area right here of 10160 that didn't hold at all. Once we broke that pre-market range there, uh, that like where I was in right here, uh, that there 10150, we dumped pretty good into 101. So. I'm going to take another piece out right now and hope that we can get a nice move back up. We're 46 cents in the money on this Amazon trade. I'm going to take a piece out right now. All right, Brendan, kill him with Baba. All right. Uh, Bradley was just filling me in on uh, the points system. Uh, let's talk about uh, Alibaba, as mentioned. A uh, few things. This was during lunch. Wall Street Journal came out saying uh, that this breakup, remember they announced earlier in the week they're going to divide the company into six, was actually engineered and orchestrated by Jack Ma away from China before he actually came back on Monday or was spotted, at least for the first time, 
in a year in China on Monday, uh, and they made that announcement. This was this morning then. Their logistics unit going to be the first, it would appear, uh, to IPO potentially on the Hong Kong exchange. So just a, we'll go to Bob in a quick second. I just want to update because I just got a I just got a reload in a firm here. Um, at 10.50 right now, that's essentially the afternoon short price. We're shorting off 11 even this morning. Uh, we're pretty much all out of that trade. We got out of the last of our 11, 11 short here, or 10.85 short. We did get some at 50, so now only in at 50 and looking for a continued reversal. This is now red on the day, um, weaker than the markets, but it could be bouncing a little bit here. Alibaba, it, it was frustrating yesterday. It was frustrating today. I don't know why I was short there. That's kind of, this is one of those, so first long, okay, that's pretty good. Second long, didn't like it, started getting out, and that's the problem. Like, I did not like the long very much in here, so I'm scalping some out. Then I'm just taking it all out. I had an accidental short for a split second. Oh, no, it coded a short. I never actually got short there, but it's actually holding oh now. God. Like, now it's holding that 102, Binoxious. holding 103, and giving you 105. Like, sometimes it's pretty clean. So my new strategy on Alibaba, at least how I want to approach it, if you don't get the first breakout at the open, I don't, I don't want to take longs on the way down a downside. Like the first time it breaks a channel, so like right here, 102 and a half, it breaks the channel and starts going up. Then at this moment, it holds that 50. I either want to be long this break or this retrace. Right, like that's you joining the move, like somewhere in this range here. That'd be essentially getting in about 103 and then ride it to the high because breakouts are dirty on this stock um, buying dips off pure technicals on the higher time frame has been kind of dirty so just allowing it to make a bit of a bottom and then start channeling to the upside that way you have a better risk to reward or at least a more reasonable out so that's my approach um, I should have been one more because I like, this is I was looking at this this morning uh, sort of reminding myself that every time Alibaba's up that I should be looking at Pinduo Duo and I kind of got over there a little bit late, and this got really, really close to that 80 level, and it made a huge move. Like, look at the break that was available on Pinduo Duo this morning. Forget about Alibaba. Look at 74 on Pinduo Duo. That was probably the best breakout opportunity. I, I'm going to kick myself. Like, look at it, hold that low. Microsoft look at the breakout. That was a $4 clean move on Pinduo Duo in sympathy. No news at all, just a pure sympathy move. Now Meta's gonna go. There we yeah, go. I come over here quickly because Microsoft right now, there's news about Microsoft. It's, it's, it's not that big. This is old news, man. I mean, this is from a little while ago. It's just, I just saw it now. And then I looked over at the level and I was like, wait a second, we're breaking the 50 period? I'll take this. So I don't know if this is just resurfacing now. Maybe Brendan can confirm this, but I feel like this is older news. Uh, just that Microsoft looking to put in ads into their chat bot. So like the more you use it, I mean, ads will come up and obviously people would love to pay uh, for ad space on something that's so highly used. So integrating ad space into Bing and into chat G GPT and everything like that. It's amazing the amount of money. I think it's $300 billion or something in market cap Microsoft has gained since announcing a $10 billion investment in OpenAI. But it's a huge move up right now. And that's what happens, right? You make the right management decisions, um, you know, getting your money into the right startup, so on and so forth. So, hey man, th th this is here you go. Like if you think that Microsoft can bounce on ad uh, related news for chat GPT you know the king of the ads are man you got meta you've got Google um, so we're gonna wait to see if that can go up uh, to the upside as well so we'll see if that can work out for Google right now Microsoft getting a bounce but I just want to let people know that I'm in this name and I'm, and I'm just gonna give it back I was debating right here 25s or so. I think that's a fair, fair area. Whenever I'm in on momentum plays, I use the 50 period as my out. So that's about 25, and it coincides with some of these wick bottoms there as well. So we'll go long now. We would sweat long at 53. That out is 70. So that's 17 cents there on 20%. Let's see if we can get up to the high of the day. Next out, hopefully VWAP, and then we'll work out from there. So Microsoft, new position for me uh, right now. I don't have any trades on Baba. Neil just hammered it there. I would just say, like, honestly, um, no, hammered the uh, uh, analysis, I mean. You weren't in the trade. No. I, well, I was in the long and Baba, but it's like yesterday, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Baba... So my, sucks. my whole call about that was, and I saw yesterday, I got ran over. It's just Alibaba when it wants to go, like you're either 
I'll, I mean, piss or get off the pot, basically, is the, is the answer I'm trying to look for here. And that is, is that when it goes with momentum, you got to stay there because these Chinese names, they're well underfunded by U.S. investors. If they ever get sort of the ball rolling and people start accepting them as a way to, to dump your money, then I do like that um, opportunity for Alibaba to continue to go, man. I think the next stop is literally 120 on Alibaba. So I look forward to that. Um, and then right now, Amazon also starting to tick up to the upside right here. 60 cents in the money on Amazon and 20 25 cents now in the money as we wait for a bill here on Softy. Yeah, interesting note on uh, Microsoft there with uh, Bing. I mean, traditionally, with Google anyways, you get those paid search results at the top. So if you search for whatever, you get the first two or three are paid search results. So we'll see how they uh, can monetize that. Uh, let's talk uh, Tesla here. Did give you a few opportunities throughout the session to the upside if you were looking uh, on the long side, there wasn't much in the way of uh, news catalyst today, but relatively strong still, even at this point today. Uh, they came out and said they're going to lose this uh, $7,500 U.S. tax credit on the Model 3 rear-wheel drive specifically. As of tomorrow, um, looks like that's going to go by the wayside. But uh, overall, as I said, Tesla relatively strong today. Yeah, and just, well, a couple of things. One, Meta's up. Everything's going up right now. Like the market, my... My little bet on red, which I thought was going to be contrary just to get a better payout for this little thing isn't going to work out because the market wants might, to might, go might, up. It might, it might, it might, it might. No, we'll see. I, to be honest, it, it is true. You want to sell like, me your bet? I, can I you didn't, do that? I don't know if you can do that. I didn't really necessarily think we're, we're going to necessarily go to the downside. But either way, um, there's Meta. I just got some out over VWAP. I like 207 and a half. Let's get to Tesla here. Is it a long? Was it a long? It was a long this morning, but... Kind of what I was looking for, and it'll be obvious what was going on at the top here. This is the 197, and this is 197.5. So you would have seen this in the morning show or in the afternoon show. We're short off of that. It's breaking VWAP. I'm going to trail this one. I'll short the top if it gets there again. If it gets to the bottom, I'm out. Rendo. Uh, I wasn't expecting this to move this way, but uh, Boeing just coming out saying 737 max production rates will be above 31%, or 31 per month, that is, 31 units per month. Quote, unquote, very soon. So heavy volume here. Decent move, guys, for BA. They can make 31 of those a, a month? Lucid can't make a car. <laughs> oh, they can make one. No, you don't, but, you know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying, right? Shots fired, shots fired. And I get it. Look, I'm not, that's a bad comparison. And it's not that, it's not that we always want to throw shade on Lucid. And Rivian, but it's just it's just but it just goes to show like when you when you are ramp when you are trying to produce something complex and expensive capital intensive, you're gonna go through pitfalls, right? And when you've been doing it for a very long time, you have the ability to really ramp up. You have an expertise so that when you figure things out, you're able to then go, go, go. And that's why it's a du duopoly, right? I mean you you don't get to the point of a duopoly without these guys knowing to an extent what they're doing. And you guys are obviously um, you know, there's been issues, of course, which is completely understanding it. However, I'm a little excited by this because look at the 50 period at 208. It just broke away from 208. Like, this is it breaking, essentially, the 50 period on the daily on news. So I like the long this afternoon on it. However, now I don't want to chase. I want to dip by. Usually, usually here, it either holds tight and gives you, like, a flag or comes all the way back and says, go get the 08s. So allow this to calm down. If it does a bit of a flag, I'll short the bottom. Microsoft. Sorry, I'll go long the bottom of the flag. Otherwise, we'll wait for that 08, guys. Yeah, but the market long. is going absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. I think we're pretty solid on these longs. I don't want to chase Boeing because I feel like it's too far. But that's all I care about is the fact that you know Boeing looks good. We can start looking for longs directionally on Boeing above that 208 level. I think we're going to be good there. Yeah. That last little bump up, I don't like that I mean, Meta didn't get past 07 on that last bump. Anybody. So I don't want this to break VWAP here. I want it to hold this little channel it's making in the afternoon. That's what should happen if the market goes up. And I guess I might have to give up a firm, the last of the shorts. I don't want to hold this to VWAP. I'll probably cover it like 55, 56, and then look for something else. But the longs seem to be in here. Yeah, we'll find out right now. Tesla pursues building EV battery plant in the United States. Okay, so that's a good sign, I guess. Right there, nice little move upside for Tesla right there today. And by the way, guys, Microsoft, 
as my guy over here says, Microsoft. I don't know exactly why, but there goes Microsoft right now. We took it off the 50 period. It is now up to, you can see at the bottom where we're long, 282.50. So that's 50 cents in the money right now. I hope you guys had that. We took that with us and, uh, you know, as we talked about it. So let's see if it goes. It's obviously getting a nice market move there. I'll be betting, I have already bet my 500 points. Let's see if that can go uh, right now. But Tesla today, I know the guys on the midday were looking at it and it was a decent shot uh, to make some money there today off these bottoms. I mean, again, I picked Amazon just right now, but these, some of these bottoms have been holding pretty good, man. So we'll look at that 194.50, uh, that held again. So I would say that without, you know, without the market really screaming, I mean, you're just kind of right back. Like there's where the market opened, like right into this area. And the market is right here. So like this is the market open, you can see by volume. So the market is this first red candle. So 13060 down to 13052. And we're just taking it out right now, that top. So we'll see if the market can get going. I think there's a lot of freaking potential as we are now 50 cents in the money on Mike, 70 cents in the money on Amazon, 60 for Microsoft as the Nasdaq's starting to go back up. So I would just say, I look for this level, man. You're above the 200, you're above VWAP, but I don't think you want to mess around in here, either tops or bottoms for Tesla. Pretty range bound today. So for me, it's a little bit of a nothing burger for now. And I think if you could take 197 with that EV news uh, battery, possibly look, I mean, that's it right there, Brendan. Maybe you see it as well, but they're looking right here with some CATL, I guess is the, um, cat, not the catalyst, that's funny, is the company in China that they're trying to do this with, uh, but oh, making a plant on. here in the United States for EV batteries. So we'll see uh, where Tesla wants to go. I'd say it's a log through 197. 50 on the break. Yeah, there's Tesla right here on the 20 minute. There's 197.50 right there. So we've already been up here a couple days ago. I really like this. Now that I see this top wick, I like this breakout even more. Let's see if Tesla can break 197.50. Uh, SIVBQ um, was the big uh, volume leader yesterday that we were discussing. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank, obviously, back to the OTC markets. Uh, once again, I mean, it was it was a challenge in the sense that uh, here we can't trade unless it's over a dollar. Yesterday it gets to a dollar and breaks through it right at the end of the day. No additional news catalysts on these today, guys, but a ton of volume once again for both. So well, just a, a couple of things. I want to ask. I want to answer a question in the chat that we got yesterday. Then I want to talk volume. I'm, I didn't trade. I'm not really doing SIVB, but it absolutely got cratered today. Um, it's back beneath the dollar. I don't know what's happening in Google. We got this question yesterday, and I can't explain why Google is doing this in the afternoons. It looks like one of the Chinese ADRs, where it just stops moving all afternoon. It's doing exactly the same chart two days in a row. Dump, sideways, nothing. It's ridiculous. Uh, but at Boeing, well, about that. Boeing is nuts. Yeah, it got to 13s there. So, I mean, forget it. let's forget about 8s for a quick little second, because let's not let this get too far away from us. Uh, I'm probably going to look somewhere at 11s, and then maybe, well, if, if 11 breaks, probably 10s. I think you just want to be long Boeing. I know tomorrow, it'll be easier to, it's always easier to game plan, because you have the benefit of where it closed, and see some pre-market action. But if we're above 08, I'm looking long on that one. Uh, Meta, today, oh, Meta's above 07, so that's looking pretty good. I'm in 30 cents away from my next offer. Intel long is looking pretty solid. Obviously, I might have to get out of a firm, but this Boeing, wow, that's a, it's big news, it's great news for them. I like them even better oh. where it is on the chart, though. This is, this is not appropriate because of what Boeing, their history. Uh-oh. But it's, it's a plain one. You did it, not me. No, I did it, I, I did it, I did it, and, and I did a little bit of a, you know, we did have one before of a plane that was coming in. Remember that oh, one? Yeah, I remember that, that one. Was, that was more appropriate, but, you know, that's exploding money, that's kind of what it is. And plus, me, I mean, look, Ugh. this is not a Boeing plane. Yeah, that's a it's a high quality animation. By the though. way, I'm never watching. Did you watch yeah. that? Um, I you know, that Netflix thing. I can't watch that. That disappearing. Uh, the, uh, MH. Ma Malaysia. I can't, one? I can't bring myself. I can't to, I can't bring just, myself to watch it. It's just so crazy that stuff. Yeah. Like why so many lives lost? Anyways, I don't want to. I'll get all emotional and stuff. It was, you know, it's like my I, kids say, "Dad, you cry too much." I'm like, I yeah. watched that tsunami one. There was Did a you movie. See my father. There was a movie on the tsunami. The, yeah, I don't. And I, and I watched that, and I'm like, it was, they did it, it's a really good job. I just, it's. The only reason I could watch Cocaine Bear was because it was definitely a coked up bear, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like it when, you know, it, 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 it's more realistic, you know, like that, that MH thing actually happened. Are we on, we're starting on Cocaine Bear on a Thursday? 
Well, I'm not here tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. That's well, I, I thought co Cocaine Bear was pretty good. Anyways. I still haven't seen Cocaine Bear. Yeah, so. you don't need to rush to it. But I got some people Got that going. were texting me uh, saying that they watched it on my recommendation. First of all, I don't know if I recommended it. Yeah, you recommended uh, it. But I think it's fun to watch. Yeah, you I recommended think it's, it. Yeah. You said I, it was fun, and I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it it's fun. It is a fun movie, actually. But you also, who sub, somebody said it was a true story. No, no, it is a true story. But not that a bear went around and murdered anybody. It, it, the, the true story is that the bear was coked out. The, see the, I, I don't think there was an, an Inspired action. by right, true events. true events. Based, not based on a true story. Right. Yeah, what people were saying was based on one. Anyways, okay. I don't know. You guys can Google Cocaine Bear if you want. Some of these guys said it. And it's Ice Cube's kid Probably in there. Bahad, looks exactly man. like the guy, oh, by he's, the way. He's, he's um, all right, so here's SIVB today. So just like uh, Neil was just mentioning there, uh, nice upside down move here. Rips to the top, 145. And that's very similar to what we had yesterday uh, there. So that top yesterday was 128. Once we broke a dollar, it just shoot up. Today, obviously, it started the day up there. I don't know where it was in the pre-market. We don't quote it, but it's a nice move up to $1.40. Hit that top again, and then since then, it's just boom, boom, boom. But it looks like it's making a base right now. The only play that I can see with SIVB is the fact that you may want to buy it into the close and hope that with, Ye with Yellen or all the, I don't think any of the other Fed really matters, but Secretary uh, Jenny Yellen will come out and possibly say something about any of the banks or the insurance or whatever, and that could rally the stock, or it could be the uh, completely other way around and, and get disaster to the downside. I showed Fahad, he came over here wanting to know more about SIVB, and I had to show him this chart, and then he basically almost threw up, because the thing is, is like, if you're not familiar with what happened with Silicon Valley, I mean, this stock, here Fahad, you didn't even see this. In 2022, this was seven, okay, forget, scratch that, $770 this stock was. It is 90 cents right now. So like for anybody watching out for this, there's the tick right now as this bank got absolutely, and I feel it's disgusting. And this is, I mean, I was getting emotional about this the other day too. It, it sucks that how many people have lost their jobs and with nothing to do with anything that they did, but just bad management on the, on, on the we had Peter Schiff. We don't need to talk about deposits or anything like that. We had Peter Schiff in here talking all about the US banking system. And you know, this, if there's any sort of a case for you know, regulation in everything, you can never know what's gonna blindside you next, man. And, and who would have thought that Silicon Valley Bank definitely destroyed right now to that downside. We'll watch it down 6.5%. There it is, 91 cents right now. So this is a very active quote. And it's done 50 million shares today. So if it's in your wheelhouse, you know, this sub dollar stuff, you can grab it or we'll watch it when it goes back above a dollar if that does happen here this afternoon. So that's SIVB, man, and really, really sucky. The other one, Brendo, uh, SBNY. I don't know if we're going to go back to Brendan or not, but this is the other name today. Uh, that th This one never got above a dollar, so we never really looked at it. But again, nice run off the open and then just hammered back down. So if this is the playbook, that's great, man. We'll pay for shorts and then we'll just short this every time it gets up there again. But for now, you had a huge move in SIVB, man. It was up to $1.40, now 91 cents. So really, it's minus 70% from the high today. So yeah, pretty nasty stock there. S-I-V-B to the Q. And now we're done the rundown. So, hey, what's up, Dustin? <laughs> Goalie extraordinaire. <laughs> he, I know, he I always see the guy. I'm like, plays oh, a lot of hockey. So you see his hockey bag all over the place. He's a goalie, which... You know, obviously that requires a lot of skill. You know what's crazy? He's a big dude. That's the advantage for goalies. Yeah. That's what goalies are nowadays. They're They're monsters. all monsters. But I heard this stat, like you can lose, like what is it, like 12 pounds playing in net oh, yeah. in you a should... match? I've heard that from just, it's true, More right? than that. You have yeah, the yeah, equipment yeah, yeah. on and... Yeah, so he's like all that equipment, get up and down. It's like all the movement. We're gonna That's get intense. I don't, I don't have that much to lose, man. But however, I did get out. Of, I did get some out of it. I'm still in it. Uh, Two hundred seven forty. We just grabbed. It is starting to head back in. That was like seven seven consecutive green candles on the three minute there. The ES on the fifteen minute has an hour unbroken to the upside. Uh, consecutive green. Ooh, I just reloaded Boeing. Let's go back to that one. Oh, you got a little in and out there for a scalp, but Boeing's starting to come back in. Mm, yeah, it's starting to come back in here. We just obviously I like obviously I like 08s and probably 10s. I don't know if I want to hold this all the way back to 10, but I did get some out, so I'll give this a chance to bounce off that 10 level. And what did Tesla do? Like my shorts, really? Like Tesla didn't pull, uh, pull back a little bit. Yeah, a little bit back into VWAP here. This will be this will be key because if the market really reverses here, Tesla doesn't get back under VWAP. 
I don't know if I want to reload it like that third time if it starts, if it's going to end up holding it, putting it in a higher low. So higher lows with the same top is not necessarily a downward trend the last I checked. That's, don't need a degree to know that one. Uh, INTC, Intel, I don't think I've ever said INTC. Uh, Intel just rejected VWAP. I did get some out on the north side. Eventually this 32 could go and if the 32 goes, I'm out. Um, this morning we were going long at the 90 level, but I think if it just breaks this flat bottom at 32, I'll just be done with the trade. It was it's the fourth time I've had it today, and I feel I want to be aggressively, as long as we're above 31, I think I want to be looking for the long on Intel. Uh, 32, was, that'll be the last ditch for this afternoon. I mean, I'm probably done with the long um, if it breaks that 32, unless it's like off of 3180 down here or that low of the day. Market. It's still to the upside, but I think we're getting a little bit of a pullback. So if you like some dip buys, get them in now. Yeah, we did exactly uh, the same thing there on Microsoft. We, it just got excited and got right up to the upside there. So we took it out at another piece out at 22 right there after seeing that the high was 36. So there's a nice little long. We're now out of 80% of this trade and seeing about uh, another upside move right now because we're actually really printing on Amazon, man. Amazon, oh. actually both of them are 62 cents in the money, actually right now, uh, to be exact, as I look at the blotter right now. So Microsoft, nice upside. And the reason why we're getting some out, hopefully we can break it, is this 387.75. So this is a three minute chart. Um, you can see, you know, maybe I'll zoom in and get rid of that wick there, there it is. Um, so we could run into some problems here at 50. So that's it. The high is 60. So if I can take a 22 right now off of that VWAP push, sorry, it's off of the, uh, that's a 200 period on the one minute there. Nice little move to the upside as the NASDAQ broke. So we just went into an aggressive name with Microsoft and that's paying out right now. And then, I don't know, I mean, Amazon, ooh, too busy looking at that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put an off, okay, well, I just punched out 73s uh, there a little bit. So just noticing that that got resisted right there. So here's a nice little long. And I mean, honestly, man, we'll, yay, we yay, haven't seen this in yay, a while. Yay, yay, What's up, Brando? Yay. Actually, Brendan has nothing to do with this Amazon trade, but uh, he did, we did talk about that Microsoft one there. Nice little move to the upside. We're just rehashing some new animations. And we are gonna get, well, sorry. Those are old animations brought new to right. maybe some of you that haven't seen them before. Uh, but there's Amazon right now coming up. Like, again, if we're going to play support and resistance like we did there at 101, we could talk about this. I mean, there it is right there. That's the bottom of the day. Like, these are the kind of trades that honestly, I mean, I need to wait for those every day. Um, and if I do that, then you can do some props because... Uh, I'm just going through them all. I know it's pathetic, but uh, there we go. If we can be patient with all of this. Yeah, hit one, Neil. Hit, hit something you want to hit. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was going to do yay, that. Yay, yay, yay. You just did that, man. Yay, I know, yay, but that's my yay. favorite. All right, all right, all right. You're just hitting it because you know Brennan hates it, I think. Brennan, Brennan absolutely cannot stop. That's not. You should see, like, the look on his face. Like, he tries not he's to He's actually laugh. laughing. There's been a no, while. He's laughing now, but, like, usually when I look over and we play that one, he's got that. Remember we had that game where Brendan sons was of... never laughing and then we were making him laugh and everything like that? But now he laughs he's very, more. He's very professional. So that's good, man. That's good. Oh, yes. Oh! Fod, uh, Street Fighter. Find one that says Street Fighter. That was my favorite one. Neil's yeah. got the Mortal Kombat. I was there. always more of a Mortal Kombat guy. Yeah, yeah I, like I like Scorpion. I like Scorpion. Get over here. <laughs> Which is weird. I'm an I'm a Sub Zero guy. I don't know, and I'm pretty sure the guy who made that, because we had you know who uh, worked yeah. with us, they used to make those. I'm 99% sure I said Sub Zero. I'm just saying. I would never have said Scorpion. I always played with Sub Sub Zero. Just. You know, Mortal Kombat. For me, I'm, I'm a Street Fighter guy, but that's good. Know. Yeah, Raiden's great. I mean, I love all those guys, man. Raiden, I love all those guys. Uh, right there, Chun Li on, on Street Fighter. Uh, there was a Mortal Kombat movie, though, wasn't there? I never saw it. Uh, there was a couple. There was a couple. Yeah, there. yeah I mean, yeah, those yeah. movies. You know what's really so? Raiden was the guy with the hat. Can it? I drop a really cool story? It has nothing yeah. to do with. This has to do with Street Fighter. You know, Raul Julia. No, it's Raiden. Raul Julia played um, Bison in that movie. Uh, he's just Bison? an older actor. The guy was dying of cancer when he when he played um, when he played Bison, and the reason he took the role is because he wanted his kids to be able to have a chance to see oh, him in a movie that they, they would enjoy. Would like, yeah. So he's like, "Dad, let me do this because it's based on a video game." And that was the last thing. He did. And the guy was literally dying of cancer. You watch that again, and even though it's a pretty crappy movie, you're gonna have a different sense of it. Um, you, you look if you make John Claude Van Damme the American in a movie like that, and with his accent, it's just a little bit ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. Mr. Van Damme. Von Dom, as uh, Arsenio Hall used to always say. It's we, like, got, we got a new poll up. What's Sub-Zero. Whoa, whoa, come on, man. I've already bet Sub-Zero. How do I bet? Can I, I can bet this, can't I? Oh, we can't poll. bet on the outcome of a poll? Not these ones. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you're on a trading floor when we're thinking about ways that we can bet on just about everything. I mean, I've already, like That's I said. That's my got, first thought was like, how, why can't we bet on the poll? I got the Jays in there at not, over 91 and a half wins. I'm excited for that. You were watching the Yankee game. I don't know. Is the Yankees winning? What are uh, the doing? Yankees were up. I, I closed. It's opening day for baseball. I closed the game because, you know, I would get way too distracted. I can't watch sports <laughs> while we're doing this. It's just impossible for me. So, um, I, I, yeah, I. I really want to be watching opening day, but I'll be watching the Jays at 4 o'clock. Oh, I thought, there was, I thought there was a fan do a free bet there today I thought I saw through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's – yeah, there is a super boost uh, for the Jays. What? That starts at 410? No, that's not true. Does 405. it? 405. I got it. Yeah? The Hodge bet. Yeah? Yeah. Shut up. Say, say this out loud. The Hodge said – Bahad basically said that he worked up with all these free bets. And I, I saw him. He was making $50 blackjack bets. That much is true. But somehow that, that, that 50 bucks got all the way up to 450 I can believe that. I believe that. I believe that. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. So now you have 900 in there? Yeah, so he bet 450 on one hand and won. I mean, Bahad doesn't lose awesome. anything, apparently. That was Bahad. Give me that money. Let's they don't go. even let him in the casino. That's the other thing, too. Like, every casino has a picture of Fahad, and they're like, don't let this guy in because he just breaks the house. Yeah, the balance yeah, is there. It's confirmed. 850. The balance is 850. Confirmed. That means he deposited 800 bucks about an hour ago, so that's good. Uh, there he is. Yeah, big, big celebration there. No, c congratulations, man. That's... Hey, man, it's hard to make money these days when you're making it uh, on the FanDuel app. You can't trade FanDuel, right? But we can trade DraftKings. So let's go have a quick look at DraftKings. Um, the thing is, the minute Fahad signs up for a DraftKings account, I'm going to short DraftKings because the guy's going to clean them out. That's exactly right. You know what I'm saying? That's like, exactly I don't, right. I don't, I don't want to be invested in too something many, that Fahad too is many gambling losses. against. Too many losses. You know at that what point. I mean? The other so, one you can. Uh, Pen's actually. Have you oh, seen Pen, it? yeah. You no, that's been disastrous. Oh, on, where's my it? daily chart of Pen? What is Seriously? Pen doing? I was a very short term. Um, Penn, can you get your daily chart up for my daily chart doesn't want to load for Penn. Anyways, we're going to go to Brennan. I'll see if I can get this working. Mine is. A uh, quick note on uh, Wells Fargo, guys. They're going to pay $97 million uh, for a sanctions compliance failure. Uh, so there was a bit of a move downside there uh, on decent volume, in fact, for WFC. So I was, what I was trying to get to, we'll, I guess we'll get back to trading in a second, but what I was going to say with regards to Penn, I was a temporary shareholder um, when they bought the score. And thankfully, I was like, ah, do I really want these shares? No, because that's what happens when you get a buyout. Like, if it's in stock, then you, get, you, you go from one, one to the other. Uh, I didn't want Penn. I sold. And look at Penn. Not much of a recovery for Penn National Game, but there's always a but. Look at 25, 26 down here. Decent levels. I don't know if this is much of a tradable name, but it hasn't really gotten off the hump just yet, so maybe like a 30 break. It'll be worth looking at if it gets over 30 bucks or gives you a 25 bounce. Uh, so back over to two things. First, Boeing. Kind of offering some out in like the 20 to 11 half range and then want to hold for the high of the day. And then over in Tesla world, this is starting to come back in to the downside. I was kind of concerned that maybe it was going to hold up. It was going to hold up above VWAP. Now it seems it could be rolling back over to low of the day. That's what I'm looking for. If it breaks 195 quarter, I'm going to slap wow. a trailing stop on this one. Uh, so Tesla working affirms like two cents in the money. That's nothing. Um, Intel's not really moving. Meta long feels okay. If this is enter twice, this is Meta holding up at those highs. So I think we have the right ones, like Meta holding the highs after bouncing. You know, Tesla kind of still reversing to the downside. Don't have anything I'd like to re-enter into just yet, though. All right. Uh, just making sure you're good? Okay. So, all right. Uh -huh. I mean, here it is. I just wanted to make sure that he was okay with me showing this. Obviously, there's no account information here or anything. Isn't but here we go, man. So he's at 250. Bet 40, win 80. Bet 50, win a hundy, right? 378, that makes sense. Bet 50, that comes off, win the hundy again. Look at the date, 16th, 21st. I knew this would happen. The minute we put Fahad in front of a trading station and he was just like buying 100,000 shares of Apple, stuff like that, I knew this was going to happen. Um, and then right there, look at this. The whole damn thing saves himself a cup of coffee and then goes bang right there for 850. What? Yo, charge your phone, dog, 9%. 
uh, right there. So, all right. Uh, that's good. Oh, good. I'm glad we have good Wi-Fi connection. Fahad well. doesn't have to charge his phone. That's a, that's a secret. Wow, Fahad, man. He, Honest, doesn't, he honestly, plays by none of the rules, Fahad. None. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. I'm not. No. He's saying he wants me to tell him to do all 800 now. No. No, I don't want you to do it. I don't want you to do it. Mm. Well, you have to do what you want, dude. I, I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a wise decision to gamble like that. Like Actually, your my, whole thing on one hand. I say, hang on to that money, and then we'll have an office poker night. How about we do that, Fahad? Like everybody that's there gets a hundred bucks. Yeah. Eight people. Oh, well, yeah, because, of course, like we, a tournament. Yeah, we wouldn't, well, a cash game. we would know. never actually play for money at the office. Of course, you can't actually do that. But, um, what do you mean? You can do that. Why not? Can you, can you have, yeah, you, you can have private games, sure. I don't think you can. Cannot? So, of course, we wouldn't do that. So, Fahad, make sure you bring that. We'll do a little bit of a tournament. I'll take that off what? your hands and donate it to a charity you when, I, when I take it. You cannot do I think you can. a recreational so what, so what you do poker at the office, game amongst friends. So, what you do is you just play for points. I think you can. And for pride. That's what you do. I, I'm, sure, I have now no I want to look this up. I'm like, not sure. It's, I think the rules are different in the Ontario, U.S. and the right States. So it's probably different here in Ontario. That's, I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about us going to Cincinnati and playing. No, I, no, I think, it's, like, right I think here. you can't here. I think you can in places in the oh, States. Oh, you think you can other you places? You guys tell me. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm just saying. Do whatever you want until you get caught, playboy. It's, well, that's all. Oh, yeah, wait, we're broadcasting this live? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not. <laughs> Why do you think that, I was that just. Not, that might not be a great idea. <laughs> You see how I, like, this is how I'm doing this on purpose, like setting myself up. Oh, I know, up. I know. We're just uh, right there. So, uh, okay. Company time you know, welcome US. to uh, the show, guys. And if you haven't hit the like button, you're going to do it after I do this. Hola. Like Why and subscribe Cincinnati? today. I don't Why don't you know. say Cincinnati? Well, because we had our, our friend was down there in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah, we went yeah. to visit him, you and I. That, that was, was 20 years ago. I don't, I'm not sure why. I like Cincinnati. Great park. Great park. Okay, so he's bet 100 bucks. He, got, he, got, he just got 20. Back to dealer has a 10. He Don't, felt the need to tell do us. Do not hit. Push. Okay, that's it. That's it. Don't do it anymore, bro. I'm getting too stressed out here. The man, the man has a family. You have a young child, my friend. Oh, my goodness. What is even going it's on? It's just funny. Like, here? I'm throwing, away, like, throwing around money here, like, like, you know, and, and, you know, taking risks as well. And uh, here I am. I just get nervous for other people. I mean, I'm sitting here with stop losses. Unfortunately, that's a binary decision. You know there. what's crazy? And this is actually true. So, those games that we have at the. these tournaments and games that we have on the trading floor every now and then you know what it's like you like you'll play and the amount that someone will deliberate yeah. or get pissed off over a small pot when they just risked like a hundred times that like two hours ago on the market it's like how is this possible make a decision it literally means nothing to you compared to what you were just doing on apple like two hours ago but it's so strange like that a lot of people when they get down at the table they cannot it's, just, it's weird it's all of a sudden like 20 bucks when they're playing poker, it's like the whole world, right? But um, when, they, when they're trading, it's like, yeah, who cares? It, it's a, it's a mind-boggling thing, but that's what makes Phil Ivey so great, a poker player so great. When you specialize in something, you can make decisions the same level of quality despite what the stakes are. Like, you don't, you don't sweat it out, but you have to know the game, and you got to get good at it. That's why traders can throw risk around and feel comfortable, but then all of a sudden they sit down at a poker table and they're chumps. Just throwing that one out there. Not naming any names, but Fahad's probably going to be easy money. When you're that confident, you're easy money. So a couple of things still here. He's I did, pretty confident. No, but this is, that's the problem. He's too confident. I think it would be an issue uh, at the table. So I just got some out of Boeing, 2.11 half. I said I'd take some out there and then look for the next dip. It's now starting to make a bit of a, a, bit of a consolidation off that half. I might go reload one time with a better price. But if it breaks down, I think you're getting something tens or underneath. I still do want to be long this name overall. But it's starting to give it up a little bit here. Lower highs. Volume's going down a little bit. Let's go one more reload on this, and then we'll hunt for a better price a little bit lower. Intel's not doing anything meta. It's pulling back, but no re-entries just yet. That's holding up at that seven, so that one looks like it's gonna be fine. Tesla, I'm really thinking if I need to get out of this. Tesla, again, it's holding 195.30 again. It had the news, it did reverse. This is a higher low. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna slap a trail on this one. I don't really, I don't want, it's forget about VWAP on my three minute. I probably don't want this breaking above 196. So if it breaks down, I'll tighten the stop to here. But for now, let's give it at 96. All right. Yeah, I'm still trying to watch out for some of these positions coming through here again. I mean, Amazon's at the high. I mean, we're not really into anything too exciting right now. If there's anything you guys want uh, me to look at, let's do that. Because uh, Apple long off 162. Okay. I mean, that, that Apple long 
was a sticky note name. So let's go back over and look at it right now. It was the number one name, I believe. Yeah, we like that belong sticky note. And we just talked about it yesterday being strong all day um, and heading into the close. Let's go Amazon right now. Amazon trying to pump up. I mean, this is a good one, man. We'll say awesome, awesome to this. As there goes Amazon, now a dollar in the money. Uh, no, sorry, 85 cents in the money. 90 cents in the money on Softy as that's going uh, to new highs as well right now. And the market kind of just doing nothing still. Let's go over. Did he lose it all? I will. Of course he lost it all. Ahad. No, no, stop doing it. I'm not going to be able to focus. Stop, Do man. not. No, no. It's already down to 600. <laughs> yes, it's real money. What is this guy doing? I, he, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they can't hear you. Yeah, so deal, he had an 18, and the dealer dealer had 16, and he pulled a five or something. Uh, but that's what happens, man. That's just I, I, stop, Fox. Stop. I always wonder about gambling on like that kind of stuff when you're against an app. Like I don't know how, and I know there's laws about that, and they have to have uh, the right odds, and they have to be yeah. like legit live. Yeah, live casino. Yeah, yeah. So there's all that kind of stuff. I just don't, I don't know, man. I think that's a risky proposition. But hey, congratulations, man. That takes a lot of uh, cojones there uh, to, 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 to be able to do that. So shout out to you, Fahad, and good luck, man, uh, moving forward with that. Uh, I think you can do good yeah, there. Yeah, best of luck. Um, all right, so let's go. Um, yeah, let's, let, let, let's hope for the best on that one. All right, uh, let's just go. Apple, that's what it was, 162. Yeah, so let's have a quick look at that. Oh, man, that, again, there's so many names. I'm happy because, you know, that's 161.40. We're in the money, a dollar on Microsoft, 80 cents on Amazon. So I'm not going to shake my head that we missed this, but now I'm going to shake my head anyways because 161.30, it came right back in to pass support. These are the kind of trades I want. So I'm going to talk to Michael Noss about this. Like when we fall back in, I'm sure trade ideas, you, by the way, you can get trade ideas, uh, Trader TV 20 uh, right there, and you get 20% off any trade ideas uh, you want, your package you want, and the service of Mr. Michael Noss himself at your fingertips. He'll be on the show tomorrow uh, early again around 8.45-ish. 8 8.45. Uh, for Michael Noss tomorrow, talking all about that, and we'll talk about the trade ideas subscription or whatever. We're, we're affiliated with them. It's legit, man. I mean, we use it here. I mean, here's what I'm, this is what I use mostly is this relative volume. Volume. It updates. It just gives you names that I've put in my own watch list into here. So it just see just shot JD up there to the top. Uh, Be Best Buy, Bed Bath and Beyond, Alibaba's there. So it's just going to give you relative volumes, and you can click on it, and it updates with the charting and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I mean, it's not it's not rocket science, but it's very efficient and very cool uh, to do that. So I, I, I like it. But anyways, um, yeah, back down to there, the low of the day there. So I like Apple, but at the same time. The market uh, is, is just in a range right now, and I feel like you want to play the tops and the bottoms. And so right now, if anything, I actually like to short in Microsoft and you know, until the market gets up like 1% or so, I don't know if Apple's going to break this top of the day. We already made it there. We'll, we'll see. I mean, there's more, more, more things happening right now. Oh, Carl Icon with ILMN. We can look at that in a minute. Uh, but 162.50 right now, I would say that's a short. So anybody asking for me for a long at 162, nah. I'd rather pull back down. You do have the lines here, the 50, the VWAP, and the 200. But still, I'm going to wait for a pullback in. And if anything, I'm just... Like Amazon again is just bouncing rate. I'm going to take another piece out on Amazon. Like this is how I trade, right? We we had we saw Max early. Shout out to Max, by the way, money, because he must money, be in some money, 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 money right money, now because money, he was holding money. out for 10160 or so. Now it's at 10180. Great call by Max, and he was even talking about getting out on VWAP. So there it is right there, man. I don't know uh, if he was talking about a one minute or what, but there it is right there. It's come into play again for me. So. Oh, don't tell me I'm missing it. I'm offering 81, so hopefully we can get that fill and move on with Amazon. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind that Apple trade. Let's see if it comes back. There we go. Uh, we just got that fill as it blasts through. I don't mind that Amazon trade. Just uh, Sorry, that Apple trade just needs to come back in, guys. People talking about Zila? What are you talking about? You have oh, Micron So next? Shinobi AO just asked about uh, Micron. Uh, so what do I think about Micron? So the problem with Micron is that it, it could not get past that 64 area. And this is what happened on the daily. So... You saw the reaction to earnings, kind of the story being you can't get any worse in terms of, in terms of where they are. So this is, should be a turning around. And you saw it break out from here and then basically just get right to the next level on the daily chart and stop on a dime just above 64. Then it opened there and flushed, like almost immediately, like opened right at that 64 level and just gave it up. And now it's just, I was in this. It's like, what am I doing? Got in, 
was sitting in this trade and it was doing all this, like higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. I ended up putting on, I ended up putting on a Tesla short because I, I was like, oh, Tesla's going to move off this level. So that was correct. Um, but I just covered this. I got out flat. I'm like, whatever, it's not doing anything. I'll get into something that's going to move. And this is like 15 minutes later it flushed. So I feel like if you have the low, you've got the bottom of the day. But from where it broke down, it just wicked that high, and it's been stair-stepping. If anything, 62 is the support level implied because that's where it broke out from yesterday. So uh, you're looking back around here for like an out, I suppose. Like that's a dip into 62. You're probably looking for an out in like the 70s to 80s. That's a little bit far away to like that long. I'd be scalping it if I was long here, just noticing the downward trend and the breakdown. It's only a couple of days past earnings. Things will be a lot more settled down next week, but that's a downward uh, trending stock in pretty weak. Conversely, like Intel was going to the upside all yesterday with Micron, and the difference in the two is striking today. Like Intel, yes, the market came back, but it's been holding support the whole way and really just broke up. Now it's just holding support. Micron trending to the downside. Until, until it shows you a base, I wouldn't be that confident in it. That said, I would expect you'll have a decision on that. Like by Monday, we'll know whether it's holding up at that 32 level. And if it does, it's got plenty of room to the upside. I'm just not one for the trade this afternoon if it's a law. I, I'd be shorting pops on it personally. On Intel, yeah. I mean, no, we, well, we, no, Micron. Micron Intel's yeah, still along, had, still along. Yeah, we had that trade of the day there on Intel uh, on Intel before, and uh, we'll, we'll watch out for that. So there's our out on Amazon, so we'll talk about that quickly uh, as we get out. So the one name that's been a mystery, and I think that uh, you just talked about it, barcoding, and yeah, I don't know, honestly, man, like, I don't know what the problem is with this name. Who, who knows what the problem is? Google right now. I mean, like, I've never seen Like, this, this is, I've, never I, seen I've I feel like Alphabet it does this, this sometimes, but I don't know why it does this. Like it's just it's stuck in a range here, and it's red on the day. Like that's the that's sort of the other thing here about this, right? Red on the day for Google, and not really you know enjoying life too much here uh, because it's down in a nice little up market today. So you know those of you that are invested in Google like I am cannot be overly thrilled uh, with some of this. So yeah, this has not been great there. Um, so I don't know what to do with this name. I mean, we could look at this as a three minute chart. I don't know, do you guys, does anybody have any idea? Like, I mean, even yesterday afternoon, it was sort of similar there. Uh, we can go back, I mean, now it's gonna take a while for the charts to load, but uh, anyways, yeah, there's the afternoon again. I don't know, I mean, at this point, I'm just looking around for something. Uh, so I don't know, um, but yeah, right now it is. Uh, it seems to be minute. barcoding right now with all that. No, Fahad, don't come over here. Do not hey, come over here. Hey, hold on a second. Uh, whoa, whoa, Robert just put something in the chat. Is I don't this, wanna support this Is this gambling? for real? Has Fahad dyed his beard from his bet with Arun last week? There was no bet? Okay, so Fahad's saying there was no other side of the bet, so there is no bet. That's what Fahad is saying. I don't remember this, so like, don't look at me. Because you know around here, we always honor, if we say we'll do something, We'll do it. If I got to eat a pineapple pizza or have an Italian flag on my face or drop a new 20 push-up, we say we'll do it. We'll do it. Well, well big bird. Big, I wasn't going to say the it, but birds I mean, the we're word. a big bird uh, like Sharif did, and, and fantastic job for him. I think it's pretty cool, but you got to have some fun every now and then. But Fahad apparently will not be doing it. People are saying no there bet. was a clear bet, but I, I don't, oh, I wasn't, I, I, don't, I, don't, video ever? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. It's, here's the thing. It's on YouTube. You guys all know this. So if, if you, I don't remember the day. If you guys remember the day and have some time on your hands this weekend and want to hold Fahad to it. But you know what? It makes sense, though, because... No, no, hold on a second. There's, there's only a bet if it's both ways. Like, if Arun said no, I could see Arun. Arun's not dying his beard. Yeah, right. oh, Arun, yeah. Right, right, exactly. I'm with Fahad on this one. There's no way Arun... Yeah, Arun. No, I just, I'm just saying, you guys look, at, you guys look up the footage. Uh, I'm now trailed out of Tesla. You might have seen as we were uh, going from myself to Sean, I was kind of canceling my stop 96 <laughs> and putting it in here. Well, I've trailed out of it now. Oh, Maybe man. we're out of it too early. But I see the market breaking back up here. Uh, it, it, it now just feels like, you know, we're kind of still breaking this little channel to the upside. And Tesla felt like it was going to make a bit of a run on me. I still, have, I still have my Affirm. I want that one to go. I like this long in Meta. Intel, I think I should be reloading Intel. Uh, you think I should be reloading Intel off 32? Like, I didn't take it this time. Look at how it's just, it's just basically giving you this every time. You get, like, fives or sixes, and it's at least getting back into VWAP. And what I can do is get something out, uh, pop on 17 here, or pop on the midpoint. That's an even better idea. 
see if I can, ah, you know, I'll just hit, hit. Uh, so get some out there and then look to reload back at like 05 or 06. Once it gets down there, we'll just slap a bid. I put it at five, I'll, I like six is better. Get in front of the level. If five is the level, just take sixes sometimes. So we'll grab that one and then see what happens. It was another name I wanted to get to and it's like, uh, what was it? It was Alibaba. That's the one. I think it was something I was missing. Uh, Baba's starting to get going. It just bounced off 103. Maybe not a huge move just yet, but we've seen this one kind of move into the close. Like yesterday, it kind of made a bit of a high and then rejected during power hour. So if it runs into 105, I mean, given the way that it faded yesterday, if it runs into 105, I'd probably short the 105 level. So let's go for that. If it moves another dollar, let's look short on Alibaba. All right, it's power hour, boys. So let's start to power this show up right now and let's get going. We are long on AMD. We just punch into that name right now. Let's see if it wants to work. I mean, again, we are, we are trying to get a little more patient with things here, but you have that 9770 right here as a possible bottom. So we'll take a small position now, trying to work this out. I mean, again, if this wants to blast up, what's been leading the ways? Tech has been leading the way. AMD, or a chip, sorry. AMD today and tech, right? Uh, up to 1.9% AMD versus a market. 1% better, double the market. So we can go long right now, man. We just punch in right here, right away at 88. So we're flat on this trade right now. You can join me if you wish. My next average, it'll be down here to 97.70 or so. And then unfortunately, if it does break, what is this? That is 68, nah, uh, what is this, 25s? I mean, do we, let's, let's see if we can hold this for a little bit longer. I mean, it's, problem is it's Thursday, baseball started. Uh, are there going to be people focused on the market in New York? Are they going to be watching the Yankees? Although, thank God it was a one o'clock game. So maybe it's over soon. Um, but yeah, right into here, this bottom of the day. So the only thing that's scaring me a little bit, although AMD is up 1.8%, it's actually trending down. So this is a little bit different than the other names that we're in, like in Amazon here, clear, clear as day what this is doing. And then obviously Microsoft, clear as day what this has been doing. Look what AMD is doing. So I'm still, I'm still in it, I'm still fine. I don't mind it, but I am wondering now about this 97 holding all the way back to 97.20 because this is the opening run right here, like right where we're at right now. So let's go long now, which we are, and we're in the money five cents. Let's see if it goes here. This is gonna be my drop spot, like 68, we'll average back in, and I'm just gonna use 50 or so uh, as our out. So let's try that. We're gonna go long now, 90s. It's a part position. We'll be able to scalp this out if it gets to 98. Well, even, I mean, 98 might be a piece, but then I'd like to get something out here. But let's average back in at 70 and then give it to 50. So the much bigger piece for AMD is gonna come in right around here, 68, 69. I'm not as confident on this one as I might have been a couple minutes ago before I realized that AMD had already broken this. And this is not looking like the others. And I know you just went long Intel, possibly a little bit of a different name. Well, I haven't I added yet. I put a bid out for 30, in front of 32. I haven't gotten in yet. We got a nice price. We got 32.06. That's, that's enough in 32 right now. But Intel's up on the day, right? I mean, much more. Like, it was the trade of the day. In, well, well, not anymore. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, when we talked about that, Intel was up 3% when we did the trade of the day. Now you're just trying to break out. A I like this, this long as well. So, good long on Intel. Hopefully that can, uh, you know, play out with AMD as we'll hold that. So I'm just gonna put another bid here. Let's try, now that I see in Intel's trying to break out as well, feels a little bit better about this AMD trade. So let's put a much bigger piece. So if this is a third, uh, no, this is a quarter. So the amount of shares that I want. So if I have 250 shares there, I want 1,000 by the time we get down here and just do the math. So that's what we're doing right now. Trying to get some more at 70 if it comes through. Yeah, grabbing some Boeing in front of 210 for a reload. We'll see if that one actually goes. Kind of a, kind of a disappointment off that move. Um, AMD got Here off the side AMD. a little bit. Yeah, AMD's got off That's the side a little long, bit. Yeah. I was double checking that one because I was, I'm looking at in, NVIDIA, NVIDIA here. Like, look at 270.385. Like, it's just been all afternoon since about noon or actually 11.30. It's been unable to break this out. Like, this feels like a Ooh. flat top break at 237.85 on. Uh, on NVIDIA. So, we'll see what happens. I just wanted to make sure that there was strength in AMD. If we're going to take this break, I still think 275 is a short. Like it has to break 275 before I stop thinking that's a short level. But I'm going to go for the long above here. I'm just going to put a stop order. Again, I only want it if it's breaking out. I really don't want this uh, NVIDIA unless it's going to break that level uh, to the upside. So we'll see what happens there. But I'm going to put that stop in. I want to make sure AMD was going to the upside. I'm out of Tesla. Oh, someone just said Google. Crypto Gangsta says Google's trying to break. Ugh. Oh, man, the stock doesn't want to move. 
I, it's trying. I was short Google this morning. Loss, win, loss. Went one for three, which is only, it's good if you play baseball. But, yeah, it, it really needs, if it breaks, I really would like this to break and just go long on a break of this channel if the market was going to go up. But uh, at some point, you got to stop uh, staring at something which is giving you no opportunities. This is really giving you no chance. If anything, you guys got to be scalping inside of this range. There's nothing else to be seen. Now NVIDIA is rolling over, of yep, course. That's exactly what it is. It's like, I have only a firm left, which is checks, notes, uh, two cents in the money. Like I, it's, I'm looking for this break, and then it'll probably flush to the lows. But as I'm sitting here waiting for it, it's getting frustrating because I gave up Tesla only to see Tesla roll back over. Should have had some more shorts on in this market. I always say Coinbase is usually something I like to short, but that's doing nothing this afternoon as well. Got to find something moving that I like to short side of at this point. All right, so yeah, let's see what's going on right now. So uh, hopefully AMD can make that move to the upside here. We just got some out at 99s. Uh, we talked about that. It ripped right up there. There's the out. We talked about it getting out in front of the 200, the 200 period. Yep, that was at night. Sorry. We got 98.99, not 99 dollars, but we got right there 98.99 off of that long. Remember, it was 87 or 88. Now we have an average price. It did come into 80 there. We got the fill. I do have more. I mean, the more shares are sitting right here. Uh, so if that comes in, we'll have to watch out for it. But look at the Nasdaq. This is why you got to be careful uh, with what you're doing, right? I mean. The Nasdaq right here breaking below the 50 period and again still stuck in a damn range man I mean I don't this is not breaking out like why we go long is hoping that it breaks out when it doesn't break out that's why we're very very light on softy and we're very very light on Amazon this is a brand new position for AMD so we're gonna have to watch out for it but look at this wick to the bottom there back down to 13 like it just went to 1350 this so 13,055 I mean, that very bottom there was basically 13,000, 1310. And like what Dan and I and everybody, I've been talking about this for a while, 13,000 was a key level for me. So now we use that sort of as support. If we break below that, then we're probably going to flip up into shorts to end the day. But we'll see tomorrow, brand new day tomorrow, and we'll see when that comes back. But right now, AMD, we can get like, what are we long at, 80, uh, 85? Okay, so let's see uh, if we can get back into this price again. We, I mean, whatever, I'm gonna hold it. If we get back into the O's again, or net, close enough to 98, then we'll start taking some more pieces out. We're still waiting for a 70, and then if we break 50 to the downside, which is right here, then we're gonna get out. So let's wait to see, here goes AMD, hopefully back up to 98, test it, and then we'll have some fun uh, on that log. So three longs for me right now, so I am biased that, to, to that direction. Yeah, I do have three longs, but I, am, I do want something. If this market's going to roll over, I want to find something that I like the short side of. I think maybe this might not be the one, but it's at a level that we're going to find out pretty quickly. Uh, I did not hold on to. I didn't have Netflix the entire day. I said there might be a chance that I would. We had the break. We got greedy. We did some scalping, got soft, wicked out, then just jumped right back in after I made a wick bottom there. Um, it did get back to 339, but then I trailed out of it thinking we'd see 35s again. That never happened. But this 340, this is what, since the morning breakout, this is what it couldn't get past, was that 340 level. So if it can't get past it now, I think that's kind uh -oh. of shortable level here. And if it breaks, look, if 340 breaks out, I think Netflix, I thought Netflix was going to 350 today, if not 345. I'll risk about 30 to 40 cents, but I'm, this is a reversal play. Like if I short this, I'll probably get away from the Nvidia breakout and just take a 340 break on Netflix. But if the market at a decision point rolls back over, I want something which is at an established resistance level if I'm gonna short something. It has to be at a level I've seen it reject. That's kind of the thing. And you know, nothing else I'm seeing is a level I like to short with the exception of Netflix. I'm already in a firm that would technically count uh, shorting it here, but I'm already in it here. What's up, Lemieux Training Systems? I like that. What's Mario. up? Uh, yeah, Mario, number 66. Oh, that's why you can't get it above 60 grand because you're Mario Lemieux. 66,000 is your, is your maximum there. I would say that you're just dealing with, again, the mental stress of numbers. And it's just like, that is the problem. It's like once it gets a little bit too high, then you, you kind of figure like, I can't get any more or maybe I need to take too much risk. I would just say no matter what, and we say this to the uh, traders behind us that are just starting out, and that's why paper and SIM accounts are so important because like you need to try to get by and it's a problem of mine too man like I'm the first one to admit that is that when I see a certain amount of profit or whatever in into the account I do take it out and um, sometimes that doesn't give you like even right now I'm like five cents in the money on AMD I'm like yeah maybe I should take this out uh, but yeah so I would say you went from 30 to 60 that's a hundred percent so once you're at 70 
you know, you should be able to get to 100K. Just don't, if you can, I mean, advice that we give to some traders, there it is, let's go, bang. Uh, right there, I'm gonna take this off the screen because I have something else to talk about in a minute. Uh, there's A and B, look at that. You see, so regardless of share size, like regardless of the share size that I just told you guys about 10 minutes ago, it's, that doesn't matter. The, the, this, this execution would have happened with 10 shares, 50 shares, 10, 000, maybe not 10,000 shares, but you know what I'm saying? So trade your book, trade your style, and try to ignore the zeros and everything. And I know it's tough, but if that's what you're trying to do is get to 100 grand, that's the other problem. The, the number you're getting to doesn't really matter. You just want to make good trades as much as you can and as often as you can and stay in your damn lane, which is, uh, I don't mean that as a negative thing, I mean that as a positive thing. Just keep doing what you're doing and don't get mentally sort of taken out by actual numbers. And that's why I had good advice from Neil, from Maroon, from everybody. When I say daily goal hit, who cares about your daily goal? Because unless you're stopping trading, that daily goal can just get slapped right back in your face because if you make 100 bucks by 10 o'clock, you could be minus 200 by 10.30. So daily goal reversed. But quickly here, I didn't want to talk about this because this is kind of important. It's kind of fun, although we're in 3.15. We're going to talk about some trades. We're well in the money on Amazon, Microsoft, AMD is, is moving as well. Take Profit says, what's the best junk food? I feel like having junk food. So Neil. Apple fritter. Yeah, Actually, but not, that's more like a pastry. Like let's go about the traditional junk food. Like that is a junk food. Okay. Uh, but I'm thinking more like, so you know what I- I love ketchup chips. You know what I like? And I don't know if people in the States have this. And it's a long time and I haven't had I love had ketchup chips. I have it. Ketchup chips are so good and they don't have those down south. Someone sent me a box, a Canadian box. Oh, it had maple so syrup. Good. They sent a picture. It had maple syrup in it. It had all dressed chips. It had ketchup chips. Uh, sea salt maybe? I don't know. Anyways. That's good. Uh, yeah. So as it goes, you know, you remember Ringolos? Those were, yeah, I remember those. I like those because you could put your finger and then it's kind of fun to eat those. I haven't had those in a long time. My brother would, so here's That's the. That's a good junk food. We used to get like Joe Louis. Remember those things? That's good too. And so my. desserts, I feel My brother, like. first of all, my brother's like the nicest guy in the world. Like he's way too nice. Like I would, I, I was like, I was, I was that younger brother, which is always kind of being a. Yeah, a, yeah, a and he was always whatever, there for right? you. Yeah, but yeah. he never, like he never raised up, but he was just kind of nice like that. However, anytime the Joe Louis come in the and house. He's 6'3 or whatever. Yeah, he's a lot, he's taller, he's bigger than me, but. I, I bowled his ass. But he would take the Joe Louis, like take half out the box and hide him in his room. So Smart he, man. And it's like, really, I like bro? The half moons. Like it's you can't do that. That's a no no no. You like, you don't do that. That's a faux pas right there. Lime he, chips? He was kinda he was kinda like he'd hoard it like that. But anyways, Joe Louis are a great treat. I have no idea if they still make those. Do they still they make do. them? They do? They do. I've seen those before. I haven't oh, had I that. like Flakies. I don't think they had those things. Flakies? Flakies, yeah. I haven't heard about that. Wow. You remember Flakies. You're bringing it way back now. Way I back, way know. back. We're really young, yeah. Neil and I. Uh, oh, you can so, tell. yeah, what's up, Ponzi Fonzi? There you go. Again, now. I had an apple fritter today, by the way. Somebody, Ooh, somebody, look at you. Somebody bought donuts. I saw that. Who was in that? In the kitchen. I don't know who bought them. There, there was like two boxes of donuts in the kitchen. Um, they were just there. There was one apple fritter, so you know I took that. And uh, so thank you to whoever at the office oh, decided churros. Uh, that we needed to have some donuts around here. I'm happy churros. Then. Churros. Now we're talking about food. I got my daughter at the game, and apparently my, uh, I thought she was loving it, but a pretzel? Apparently she did not like it. So I found that out, and, and the wife and I actually had an argument after. I was kind of okay. feel I was just probably, I was like, man, why don't you tell me I would have got her something else? But uh, apparently she wasn't a big fan of the pretzel. Too salty. I thought she was enjoying it. And I actually felt bad because we're at the Raptors game. I got bear and French fries. That's a that's a oh, man. can't miss. Can't uh, lose. And then I got her because they they were off to the bathroom or whatever with with with, with my wife. And I just got them. I, I told you what we got everybody. And yeah. so the pretzel apparently she didn't like it. That's my daughter Dad loves. Dad failed. My daughter loves pretzels. It was the other way around. She loves the pretzels that we pay way too much money for, right. like at the game or at a, at a fair, and they're really salty. Yeah. Then my wife, like homemade, makes these unbelievably good right. pretzels, but like there's them. no chance she's going to make them as salty as you're going to get them. I and know then, what your daughter likes. And then she, she, she has a bite. She's like, yeah, I don't like it, Mom. I'm like, what? Tell me I'm wrong. Cotton candy. Oh, she loves cotton I've seen, I've seen oh, you post pictures God. there of, at the game, and you guys are rolling down the cotton candy. It's like there. the worst thing for you, man. There we go. Cotton, cotton candy. candy. Someone just said in the chat. I didn't even it's see that. It's so bad. Like, it's just straight sugar. It's bad for your teeth. I don't like cotton candy myself. And I have a, I have a sweet tooth. Uh, I think it's the most overrated Maybe not the most overrated, but like, right. why do why do people like cotton candy? There's so many other good treats out there. And yeah, I'm I, not a fan of cotton candy too. Way too sweet. If I wasn't doing this, I would be going around to convenience stores doing doing taste tests 
and posting videos about how much I love uh, sweet things. Oh, by the way, just shout out to uh, shout out to the New York Yankees who are winning they won? right now. No, oh, winning. Well, they're winning. It's Don't one shout them out, man. We're Blue Jay fans. What, what the, no, what I, the hell are you The doing? Cubs are winning, too. Someone just said, what are, the, what are the scores? I don't know. I think it's one. Like, uh, Boston's in a tie right now. I checked them out a couple of seconds ago. I couldn't help myself. I have some guys going in fantasy. That's why. All right. So what's up to 37Y? Hey, how are you doing, my guy or girl uh, right there? I don't know if that's an office for Day Trade the World, so shout out if you are. Um, asking me how many green days this month so i'm not going to be here uh tomorrow so i'm going to log in and double check oh, for you the end of the month. uh right now yeah tomorrow's the end of the month so i'm going to log in once i get a chance to yeah, do yeah, that yeah. uh into the into our account and uh double check and and tell you i think it's three red days it might be four red days so uh we'll find out about that and then i don't know how many days there were this month but we're going to double check that right now uh for everybody live uh okay so uh, what are we talking about now? Okay, so I, I'm just looking. My net's not moving, really. I mean, it's, it's moving with AMD. Nothing's but moving right AMD's now. AMD's not really moving. Nothing so moving. net not moving. So I don't have too much to talk about here. Amazon is still at these same levels, waiting for this well, to break out. Changed. 320. Oh, yeah, Boeing. Boeing is probably a name that we should be looking at. I just at. got into NVIDIA. Okay, so NVIDIA now the net, broke. Okay, good. So that, now the net's moving a little bit here. As AMD making the move back up, I'm going to put another offer at 98. Our best out right there was 99s. Uh, and then we got a 95 right there. I'm going to go right here to 90. I mean, it's 99 again, but I'm going to go to 98 a little bit ahead of that and see if we can get that fill on um, AMD now as it's just bumping back up. Look, I want... I want to hit the home runs for you, and that's another thing that I don't have that you have. Uh, but I think that we can do that. I think AMD can go, especially if this market finally says, you know what, it's Thursday. There's Thursday night football tonight. Wish there was, man. I can't wait for football to come back. Um, oh, did you hear the news about flexing the um, – Thursday night games, so they they want to get the ability to do that because there was so many the bad Thurs yeah there was so many oh, bad Thursday goodness. night games, not until the end of the season, but I think that's a good idea because again Amazon kind of got a little. I remember I mean, Amazon got screwed. I don't know if they did or not. I don't I remember who played, but I remember the the very first oh, game like that Amazon Browns, did, and it was Jags it was like the worst. It was yeah, it was like Jags Browns, something really really bad. Yeah. People weren't happy. And I know Cleveland fans are going to be like, yeah, we're not that bad. I mean, come no, on. No, no, Cleveland fans understand how bad I think you are. guys, I think, I think everybody else. Yeah, yeah, I think it, was, it, might have, it might have been Houston, actually, in, in fairness. It might have been like Houston and somebody else. It was, it was an epically bad. They had the first three or four weeks were bad. Yeah. And there was like no scoring. There, yeah. was, there wasn't a touchdown or anything. And they paid $100 million or something oh, for the man. year, which actually, you know what? When you look back at it, it's probably uh, not that we'll bad. I'm we were talking about the re my, uh, one of the things that they could do if they bought um, theaters uh, from AMC or whatever uh, would be that you could put, you could put the games uh, live and do them from a theater and then maybe right. sell some booze there. That'd be pretty interesting uh, for them to do. But we'll go on to other things. Uh, we'll go for, let's go, NVIDIA. It finally broke out. So Amazon, sorry, not Amazon. Google, I'm not sure it broke out, but NVIDIA just broke the channel it's been in. This is the problem with this market. Come to my chart for a second. It's like, you've been going sideways. You can try to scalp in this range, but allow it, like, when it breaks out, it's just a little better when something goes into a new price range. So now it can float into the high of the day. That offer should be at 50. Uh, it was at like 35 instead of 45. So I'm just going to get it in front of 45. All right, so now if we get to 275, we can take the long into that level. I still think it's a short up there. Uh, I'm not going to get away from shorting 275. That's still a thing as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the long, I don't know. I got one fill in a firm, and then it's like kind of gliding back to the upside. I'm short at 50, giving it to 55. I start covering at 45, start covering at 1 to 1, There's and AMD. hopefully it goes down. But, yeah, it looks like the longs are back in. We could be breaking the channel to the upside here. That would set up some uh, decent longs. If you're in them, congratulations. Bob is not moving. I might cancel my Six. 105 short because that doesn't seem like it's going to get there anyway. Yeah, no, um, I don't know. We, we, we don't show numbers on here or anything like that, but uh, I have six red days, six red days this month. There was, uh, there was uh, in, the in the very first week of March, I had uh, one, two, three, four, five. So three of the five days were red for me in the first week. So that's what screwed me up. And then we had five straight green days followed by, I mean, there's, I can't, we, we don't show it. So uh, anyways, that's what that is. Uh, but yeah, you're, whoever mentioned me there. Oh, shout out, by the way, it's a Romanian office. They said 37Y. So oh, I knew out. it was an office. Yeah, exactly. Why else, as soon as why I else saw would the, you have that code, right? As soon like as I saw the Y in there, I was like, yeah. okay, that, that's how it is. So we code our offices like that uh, number yeah, we're, followed by well, code. So, uh, we're kind of two here. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have we have a lot yeah, of. We're 24N and 83F. 
a little bit of a different. Uh, if you're day trader world, you understand that. I mean, Steve, honestly, like it's you, you can believe me or not. It doesn't matter. I, I, I don't really care. And that, that's the whole point of why we don't do it. It's, um, you know, it is what it is. You, you, you can get I mean, you can get Greg on here. Anybody. I mean, people with uh, integrity would tell you that that is what it is. So um, anybody. But we don't talk about it. I just uh, I don't have a problem telling you. I mean, that's it. That is what it is. So uh, you can have a look on that. But look, I mean, look what's happening right now. I mean, we've got three winning trades on right now. You tell me if, if, if these are winning opportunities or not. There's AMD right now. And the other thing too is all of you can, you know when I'm not having a good day, man. I told you one of my red days was yesterday on Alibaba and I was red on the day. I have no problem telling you anything. Uh, so there it is right there. But look, I mean, let's go, man. Hit the alarm right now. Let's start barbecuing up some profits uh, right now as there goes AMD. I mean, there it is, man. AMD. We talked about holding out for this. We still got 70% uh, of our position as we're waiting for this move. So there it is. Um, taking it out. We just stop a little bit right now. But AMD is one of those machines that you do not get in front of uh, when it starts to rip up. So we'll see uh, here if we can get out. Just slowly get out. Slowly get out. I'm not shorting this name. If it wants to go, we know AMD can go. I wouldn't be surprised if we take out like... I mean, I don't want to say day highs or anything like that, but there's 98.60 right there coming into play. I think we could do that. I, like I said, getting up to 99 and change, that's not really going to happen. There it is. We just got a 7 as it fills everything at 7. So there's our fill right there for AMD. And I mean, look. I mean, there it is, right? Good, good little trade there for Advanced Micro uh, to the upside. And by the way, Amazon... Print Factory, that's a nice one right here. An oldie but a goodie is this one. I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight, but it could be chicken dinner time because there's a couple chicken dinner winners for you uh, right on board right now. 98 cents. And, you know, those of you that are like, oh, man, you know, these aren't real trades. Well, did you see me get this trade? Yes, you did. And even if you didn't, it, I held it against me as I got it. So there it is, Microsoft in there, uh, 282.54. Rewind the damn tape to 220 when this stock came into play right there, bang it to the upside. Uh, again, you know, some people being investigated by SEC and stuff like that, they'll tell you that they're in the stock, but guess who they're selling to? You can review that uh, whenever you want. But there it is right now. I just sell to the market, and if the market wants to keep going up, I'll hold my shares until I see fit. Right here, 283, 284, uh, possibly as a good out right there for Sir Softy. Yes, sir, and uh, maybe it's a hedge on the fact that the, uh, my points bet isn't gonna win. Because uh, I picked shorts. Uh, the long is obviously going to be in here. Look, a couple of things. I keep seeing people saying Google's breaking out. I'll show you in a second. It's not really breaking out. I wanted to, but it won't. Um, 207.75. I'm going to get out. We're going to break 207.50, it seems like, any second on Meta. But 208's a hard top. This is the hard top that Meta has on the 15 minute. And as far as I'm concerned, it's just. I think it's unlikely unless something crazy happens last half an hour that we're breaking that high. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. But I'm going to get out. Another like 25 cents here just to cover it. Uh, NVIDIA, that one's still pretty good. I haven't got the second fill up here, but 75 is the exact same thing for me on NVIDIA. I'm all out in front of that high. I'm not holding it through. I'm not hoping it breaks the top today. I think this is the day where you get paid. As a matter of fact, I'm actually thinking about taking another leg out right here at the quarters, but I'm going to give it a chance to get a little bit higher, and then we can get more. Alphabet, <laughs> someone's saying Alphabet to the moon. It's unbelievable how this refuses to move. It truly is. Like that, the market just made a nice little move. Like I'm, I'm watching Nvidia go. I'm watching Meta, Meta go, and then I'm watching Alphabet, Alphabet go nine cents that entire time, the last five minutes, while the market was trying to make another high. So I don't know what's going on with the stock. There's no buyers when the market's going up. Frankly, there's no sellers in the afternoon when the market's going down. Lack of interest there. I'm not reloading my firm. Only 30 minutes to go here. Market's too strong. You could easily get back to VWAP, so I'm, obviously, I'm just going to hold out. This will be the short for me if it works. Otherwise, I'm going to lose the five pennies uh, on a firm here. I got my stop in place. Boeing refuses to move. I guess we'll have to go away from the moonshot. It is consolidating, but I don't think we're going to get the shot for it breaking 212 and getting to the high of the day. Got to be able to understand that's going to be gone, so I'll take the L. I don't want to really, I don't want to risk a dollar fifty to two dollars. It doesn't make any sense. It's too late in the day here. But if it breaks that 210, I have like a 90 stop in here. We'll just get out of Boeing. Probably should have just stayed a scalp trade instead of the buy the consolidation and hold it. But uh, Boeing, I'll definitely be looking long off that 08 tomorrow. You just had to catch that when the news happened a little bit earlier. 
09 was probably your best entry. The 10 was good too if you got it. But on the way back in, we've run out of time for this move here uh, on Boeing. No, what's interesting is usually during power hour, I see a, a, million guy, a million people in the chat saying, oh, take a look at this small cat moving or that one. I haven't seen any of that today. Yeah, they talked about that on it's the midday weird. show, actually. There, have the fact, not, yeah. they're not, there have not been a lot of small cap runners. You know what we... Lately. You remember we crushed yesterday at this time? Troika. Troika. T-R-K-A. Troika. Uh, Troika Media Group on a possible buyout from Genius, unsolicited buyout from GNUS yesterday. I'm just tweeting out my trades right here, so I mean anybody can uh, double check that. We'll put it out on Twitter. And I want to thank everybody, man. We tweeted out yesterday as well um, that we just hit 40,000 followers. So thank you so much uh, for all of that uh, there today. And uh, here's the profile right now: 40,000 and 45. So we go, we go, we're a little bit up, uh, up above that right now. But there's the tweet right here from the day. And then every single morning, besides tomorrow, uh, I have the sticky note out. Ford long, Apple long, SIVBQ, watch the dollar. I mean, it broke a dollar, went up to $1.45. And then Amazon long, we have the long right now. So all good on that front uh, as we are excited uh, for what's gonna come here. I mean, this show's getting bigger and better every, every single day. So, I mean, my net here, I'll, I'll, I'll have a better month Actually, I'm not sure. I feel like my January, February, March have all been, you know, in the ballpark. So uh, pretty happy with the months that we're having right now. Good day today for sure. Uh, not too many trades, but we have pretty, pretty good ones. Let's check out Intel. I know Neil's on Intel because that's not doing too much. Um, AMD again, just stopped out right there. Not stopped out, topped out possibly. Let's take, I say let's take a 15 and by the time it goes to 15, it's through 16, so I punch out a little bit there at 15, so we take a little piece out again at 15, and you know, there's the trade, right? I mean, whether or not it's in or out, it's right there at 15. We take that fill right there at 15, get another piece out, so that's a uh, 35 cent winner. Thanks, Adam Deleuze uh, in the chat as well, and, and uh, I, you know, Going back and forth, you follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Um, and those of you that want to watch the trades, you can do that every single day. Our positions are at the bottom. Call us out on them. We'll explain to you why we're in, where our outs are, what the risk is there for. And, you know, that's why we do the trade of the day. You can find it at more Trader TV Live uh, to check out the trade of the day that Neil and I do every single day. And you can see sort of the strategies that we're talking about uh, and whatnot on that. JP Morgan, 128.50. We haven't really looked at... Uh, we can look at SIVB, it's 90 cents, not doing anything. Uh, right now, Microsoft, a nice winner for us. And then I was gonna say, you already, someone pulled the rug on us there and said Google was ripping. It's not no, it's... Uh, right now, so. That's a shout out to Adam. It'd be nice if it broke 101. I'm, at this point, I'm not even sure I'd take the break if it, even if it did. It's just, it's so, it's so boring, that stock. I don't know what's going on with it, Which to be one? honest with you. It's Google. Well, I'm I don't, not, I don't do not touch stock. it until it, we get a reason why. But, uh, uh, Snowflake uh, Steve, up for it. Well, Steve G in the chat was mentioning this that IWM's having a really rough day, and you can see like the Russell, the Russell's having a rough day, kind of consolidating off the bottom here. That was one. It looked for all to the earth that it could be making another breakdown. Manages to uh, hold that, but this could be headed back down to the low. So I know we've gotten some strength in tech, but yeah, the small cappers have been crappier lately here. So I'm gonna go back to Meta. I'm almost out of this. Give it another like. If I don't get filled here, I'm trailing it to 50 anyways. So let's go 207, 49. Ah, whatever, that's kind of a lazy trailing stop. But we're late enough in the day that I wouldn't want this pulling back anyways on me. So I got a trail in. I'm going to move my offer. No need to be on the number like 75. Now I can let it float up to that 08 level. Let's see how far it wants to go here. Meta, decent buy off the bottom. There's one thing, sometimes pre-market trading is good, other times it's not, how you get the fill matters. So for me, when I kind of am on the train and going over the trades, I already, know, I already know the mistake on meta for me. And that was the exact level I wanted to get in at four off of three, or three half actually. I, if I put that same trade on after the open, so in the pre-market, it's flushing $3, $2 and stopping me out. At the open, that exact same trade is catching a consolidation and then holding that same level that I anticipated holding. Well, the level doesn't matter. If you get a higher time frame level on a 15 minute or a daily and that's where your read is for your support, that might not matter in the pre-market. 
it's likely to matter a little bit more once the market opens up. So instead of taking that trade here, you take that trade here, and exactly the same thesis holds up, and you got the winning long. The long's good this afternoon, but it should have been two for two on the longs and meta. That's just a little example. Sometimes on the small cap names, good levels happen in the pre-market, and they're really good. A lot of times on the big cap ones, they're going to have a little bit more significance, unless it's like a 100 or something like that. Um, they'll have more significance after the market opens. All right, I just wanted to, uh, we're going to go to Brennan at some point anyways, but remember Janet Yellen, I just saw it in, the, in, uh -oh. the, in our chat coming at 345. So that could be interesting oh, for an FRC, for anything like that. But for right now, money, the only thing money, that really money, is on my money, mind money, is money, money's money, on my mind money, money. right now because Amazon up a dollar now in the money and still ripping uh, is Amazon upside right now. And still ripping is Microsoft right now. So let's do this, man. The bulls be kicking uh, here in the market. There goes Microsoft. Look at that. For those of you that are with me, man, that's a dollar. You're welcome. I mean, there we go. Just like Fahad, if he put 800 shares right there on Microsoft, he just would have made $800. So that's a good one there. And I hope that Fahad uh, has made, he told me he made a little bit of money back. He went down to six. He got it back to eight. So congratulations on that one. Uh, of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. Hopefully he can, hopefully he can hold out uh, for more on that one. But let's go to Brendo for a little hit on that. Uh, yeah, about 10 minutes, guys. We'll get uh, this. Remarks apparently from Secre uh, Secretary Treasury Janet Yellen uh, coming up at the National Association of Business Economics 39th Annual Economic Policy Conference. So just be aware, it might be nothing, could be something. We'll keep you posted if it is. That's a mouthful there, Economic Board of Discovery yeah. or whatever it was there. That was pretty interesting. And that'll uh, be interesting to, to see like the full comments tomorrow, but I feel like there probably won't be enough time for to say anything that actually screws the market oh, yeah. today. So. Yeah, you're probably right about that. I mean, Or the market just said, well, oh, no, no there's she's a talking. lot of time let's, to do that, bro. It's 15 minutes. Um, that is a lot of time. Let's just... Could you imagine if this... Wow. I just, I, I think the risk is... Last time she talked, you know what happens. So. Yeah, that's the thing. I think... Uh-oh, okay. Look, I'm, I'm going to cancel. Being I, a man of the people, yeah. Brendo, they're asking for the goat. I'm going to do yay, it. Yay, there it is. Yay, Shout out to Tina yay, or whoever yay, asked for yay. it right there. Uh, they want Nina. Sorry, what's up, Nina? Uh, it's pretty funny. She liked it. So there you go. You get it uh, right there, Nina. I was just going to say that if, um, you know... If it's a prepared response or a speech, then, it's not that then I think it's fine. Yeah. I think the, the risk comes when it's Q&A time because uh, some of these politicians can't stop but talk about uh, things that they maybe shouldn't be. And uh, I don't know if it's appropriate. Well, I mean, she's, you know, Secretary of the Treasury, so I feel Treasury Secretary. I feel like that's uh, fine. That was Hamilton's position as yes. well. Who the was the, uh, I'm trying to remember was, the VP when we were at the old office. Um, the St. Clair office. The current? The no, there was, there was a VP back then. I remember, like, they, they were on the, the other vice network. The president of, of the U.S. US? And, they, and they said something, and it was, like, 340 or 350. It's like, what are you doing? Like, It might now? have been George. Was it George W.? Because nah, it wasn't. that was in the housing crisis. No, 100% it wasn't. This was, this was after 9-11, I mean, maybe? No, nah, was, this was after that. I'm trying to remember who it was. And I remember, though, everyone was just like, come on, man, wait till 4 o'clock. It was insane. The market was, like, churning, was the churning, churning. Yeah. I'm trying to remember who it was. And it was just, like... Right in the tank at the end of the day. George W's VP was the guy that shot that other guy in the face. What was his name? It wasn't. It wasn't Cheney. It was Cheney, not. That's it, was, it was. Uh, ah, whatever. I can't even. Yeah. I can't even. So how are you feeling about? I'll BA? tell you how I feel about being. Yeah, are you in that? Name? I'm still in this stupid thing. I said what I said before. I should have stuck to scalping it. I said I'll, I'll go for this last dip buy and give it underneath ten. And now I just have to give it up if it goes up to 11 and even gets break even because there's no time for it to move anymore. And that's kind of the thing when you chase this. Like first scalp, good. And reload it. I actually, I actually took it out. And that's the thing. Like here I was like, okay, we'll reload it and have a tight stop. And I'm like, nah, if it consolidates, I'll give it back to 10 like I was planning before. And now I'm sitting in this trade holding it, underneath, holding it for underneath here. And I can't even take part if it goes to 212 because I don't think we have enough time for that move. How I do feel about this tomorrow though, like if I just... Leave it here, take the win, and then walk away. Sometimes that's what you should do. Now for tomorrow, totally different ball game. You know, this is now back above the 50. That 208 break that we mentioned, I think we mentioned it a couple of days ago. If we didn't, I thought I mentioned it here. Maybe I did not, but either way, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it here. You're now above that. It's a big level on the daily. It's having some trouble getting past the 10s. But Boeing, I think it should at least have a chance to get to 215 if the market can stay strong just kind of falling back on that news. And that's the thing about trading flash news. 
The, I, do, I never really like shorting the rubber band action. I usually go for the dip by. And it's the, same, it's the same thing, like the dip buy, you like longing the rubber band action. I usually like preferring uh, buying those dips or you know, in most cases buying the retracement. In this case, it was a retracement play. It never gave you those 08s again. Those are money fills, I think, at 08 on Boeing until proven otherwise. But I should have just, I could have gotten away from this at 3 o'clock realizing it didn't want to hold up here. You get that fill, probably no need to take it that third time. You live and you learn, but I think this one's worth it. This is a level I've been waiting to break for uh, a couple of weeks now. Now that it's broken, I didn't want that long off, and I'll come back here tomorrow. Not only did we put all of our points on the market going green, but we also put all of our money here today on that exact same thing. Um, and we just took out another piece of AMD right there for 50 cents. Amazon and Microsoft still climbing uh, to the high side. I want to thank everybody one more time for all of that, man. So we'll see. Hey, what's up, Sam? Uh, yeah, look, I mean, I'm... I'm I don't, I don't hope you guys trade with me. I just hope that you're watching some of the stocks. And when I'm winning, of course, I want everyone to be in with me. And when I'm losing, hopefully you have the same outs as me. And, uh, you know, we can all cry together. So what's up to you, Sam? I uh, hope you're having a good day as well. Uh, Google finally moving. All right, Ron Williams. Yeah, maybe. You're a member. I'll look at Google. I don't mind being in it uh, if it is going to move. So let's have a quick look at that right now on Google. And Wow, wee, woo wee, Neil. Now it's moving. Now. Well, every, I mean, everything's moving. Wow, well, we wow, yeah, you're right. That is what it is, I think. Uh, look at this, man. It just broke that level. If, if that's the long right there. So shout out to you, Sam. I hope you have this long. I don't. Uh, right there, breaking that high of the day right there for Google. That's a great trade, man. You, and again, when a name barcodes like this, maybe, I thought when you looked at this, it wasn't flying. This must have just, I mean, this has no, been, just, this is 3.30, yeah, last, last 15 last minutes. minutes. So nice little move up there. Just started to break the levels and taking out some new highs right there at $100.90. So Google starting to go upside now, which is great, man. This is the largest holding in my long-term portfolio. But on the day, it definitely missed opportunity. So I'm going to flush myself down the toilet. I mean, we've got three monsters on right now. We, you know, could always take another one, right? But this one definitely missed opportunity by me. Google breaking the range. Oh, and now just see you later alligator i know i have that one right because that one's off to the races now to that upside where do we get out of microsoft you say i say you know what's uh, crazy what i had an offer from microsoft right from there, like hours ago level. that just, just filled, filled. Yeah, i right just took there. i just took like five cents on it. i was like i didn't want that anymore and I, I just trailed out of meta so maybe this is a turn i just trailed out of meta I just got hit on an offer in Microsoft that I had from a while back. So I guess I was, looking, I was looking at Microsoft so. this afternoon. Oh, that wick. I can't do anything about this. This is a high at 284. I was just looking at the short off of that. But I didn't really want it. It just happened to be out there. And you should always check your orders, double checking. Now I'm double checking. I'm canceling all my trailing stops. Sorry, my, not my trailing stops. Canceling all my stop orders. I'm canceling my Netflix 340 offer. Uh, my Baba 105 sell. Forget about that nonsense. But I'm only in Intel and NVIDIA now. NVIDIA never got to 275. So we got all the way to the top on Meta, but NVIDIA couldn't get to that 275 level. I'll give it one more chance to do so, but this break might be running out of steam. I already mentioned Boeing, about 15 cents from getting stopped there. And I neglected to reload Intel. It was probably good, but it's not moving a heck of a lot. So it ends up 2% here. I think I'll still lean to the longs on Intel, but I feel like you could retest that 31. It'd be nice. I actually would rather we retest 31 uh, tomorrow just to kind of confirm the strength in this move retesting down here would be fantastic on the daily chart you know you can wish for that to happen that'd be nice if it did it'll probably not happen because that's what i want but if 32 breaks i'm out with only seven minutes to go till the imbalances early look was nothing like 350 to sell market shrugged that shrugged that one off yeah yeah 347 to sell what's up uh, crypto gangster says wow crypto gangster gets no respect well, i'm putting some respect right there so what's up to crypto gangster right there thank you so much for that and we got another super chat coming through right now i don't know what you said crypto gangster but uh we'll give you respect for that so there it is right here another super chat thank you to adrian if you can come to the screen now i'll just show the super chat uh bonjour fantastic duo so uh thank you so much adrian for that uh we really appreciate it so you know we uh, neil and i've been doing this for a while so Definitely appreciate everyone's uh, kind words as we continue to uh, hopefully make a little bit of trades for you and show you, you know, some of our strategies and what we're doing right now. So right here, I'm this, you know, you guys can see, I was just looking at this. We just topped out again, right? Whoops, that's the wrong way. Uh, yeah, so when you do that line, you got to do a horizontal line, my guy. Uh, right there, 280. 
283.90 was that top, but look where it is. It's right there as well. So yeah, man, I think we're done with Microsoft right now. Let's put a 283. Uh, I mean, we always want to get the best prices possible. Uh, so let me, let, let me see uh, where we can get that on right now. I mean, here it comes. Let's just get an 80. If we can get, you know what, let's get a 77, whatever. Uh, if Microsoft can come back up, we'll take a little fill. I mean, that high just wicked to 84, 85. I don't like to see high wicks like that. Um, the volume's okay on it, but we are picking up in volume as we get close to the close. So there it is. We just got run right through. Money, Thank money, you so money, much for that money, one. Money, We're talking about money, rubber bands. Money, this is money. what I use rubber bands for uh, right there. It's a nice one. As we go, Microsoft, a nice play. And for everybody there, shout out to all of y'all. Bob, Sam, everybody that's out there. That's a 282.56. Boom, right there, $1.30. Uh, for you on Softy to go with the other winners that we have right now. What's up right there? Thank you so much. See, there's another one. But yeah, for anybody like, yeah, maybe we don't make money here. Shout out to Hayes Records. On my call, 50, not your, my, my call, but same level, 53% on Amazon calls. Whoops, why did that just show up right there? 53% on Amazon calls. So congratulations, Hayes Records, man. We'll spin it for you as well. We'll just do this as you're dropping down some cash on that. It's hard for me to judge. We had uh, Daniel Shea on. It's hard to judge like options plays because they're really like a lot of the time they're either like a hundy or zero. So you got to watch out for that. But you guys they know they can what be scalped though. There's, yeah, there's a lot of very liquid options out there. Yeah, especially, especially on the, the weekly. Yeah, especially yeah. on the weekly. So we understand like you can you can sort of play the technical game as well. Um, we knew somebody at, at Nasdaq. That, that trades options that way. Kevin does that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was talking to him. On a, on a, we were talking. It was a conference call on something else. And he was kind of going over how he was actually what he he would watch the show and he would because he'd want to know what was going on in some of the big tech names right. and then he was trading options off of that. And it's perfectly reasonable to do so. Like it's it's a very similar game. And I know for a lot of people that's just the better way to do it. I'm now out. The market starts to roll over. I'm just taking Nvidia out. It doesn't want to get to 75. And if I think that's resistance anyways, it was a good break. But it just didn't want to carry through, so I'll take. It's only only 50 pennies. Was not nearly as good as Meta, but I do want to come back. Someone just said Apple was making a move, and so this is the other thing I noticed. Apple got up here and just started reversing. You know, Apple sometimes is going to tell you what the what the market's going to do, but it was already pulling back in. I said, okay, at the same time as Microsoft got to a level that I liked and turned around, Meta got to the top that I was looking for and kind of stalled out. NVIDIA wasn't going higher in that moment. Apple turned around. Tesla, Tesla started like, rejecting VWAP all at the same time. That's okay, well, let me get out of NVIDIA at this point. So I'm all out of the longs. It feels like we want to do like a small reversal. No chance of taking out that top today. Kind of a disappointment. Would have been nice if we got there. Uh, strong looking day in some regards, but no punch through the top. And Tesla, I'll be probably thinking about that, that trailing stop that we had on the short up there. A lot of times I only hold these to VWAP anyways, but I'm shorting off the high and a double top and a strong stock. I usually think I just get all out of VWAP. I decide to hold it, end up covering the last pretty much at VWAP anyways. So I don't really like that out too much. Although Arun would tell me, well, you did a good job holding it through this, only to then just stop it out here. It's like, what's the point? Might as well hold it into the close to see what happens or try to re-enter off that 50 level. That's another thing we could have done. I'm going to be out of Intel in a couple seconds. Oh, maybe not. We'll be out of Intel oh, probably when Yellen the bounce ends out. Yeah, Yellen's now, but, but I still uh, think me... she's not going to say anything that rouses the market if it's prepared comments because there shouldn't be any surprises at the beginning, right? I mean... Yeah, I don't think you're wrong on that one. If there were, that, to me, would be wildly irresponsible if you're talking at 345. No. Uh, to do so you're not going to say no something... No one in the government is going to be irresponsible. Of course not, absolutely not. That I, I, that's, I, mean, I, I on, they're elected officials, slap bro. Slap myself for even suggesting that that would be the case. Wow, Neil. I mean, come on, Neil. What are you oh, doing? man. Okay, uh, here we go, man. Uh, let's just wait to see what happens. Amazon's still Blue making a move to the upside. You can just check out right now. Uh, yeah, we put the Blue Jays up here. Uh, their uh, first the pitch. The game hasn't started yet. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, first pitch you said 405? Or 410, one of them. Like uh, so the Blue Jays right there. This is from 92 93. So we're going to give it good luck. The last time the Blue Jays were in the World Series. And last time people won. liked trolls. I mean, that's, that, they were huge back in the day. Yeah, I think trolls are still. There was a trolls movie like about 10 years ago or so. That's not, you know, I think they're okay. still popular. Uh, it was a song. There was a uh, Justin Timberlake. So 
Is Justin Timberlake still alive, by the way? I haven't oh, heard from that guy. Oh, come on, he's alive. No, I like the guy. I'm just saying I haven't heard new music from that guy in forever. I'm not he's saying, rich, I'm not yeah. saying, of course he's rich. I'm uh, just saying, like, you know, I haven't. That was one other person. I haven't, I haven't heard from him in a long There's time. There's a Bo all. Diddley in this chat. That's amazing. What up, Bo Diddley? Uh, okay, so we only have a couple minutes now until these imbalances, so we're going to call them up. Someone in the chat said they had an early look themselves on Tesla, so I don't know where you get that, but if you, if, on you, a Nasdaq stock? if you get early looks, man, tell us what you're seeing, because we only have the early look on, an, on a complete added up number in total. So yeah. if there are these early look numbers, man, um, then I don't, I, I don't know where you're getting it from, but we are getting... 347 million sh shares, uh, notional dollars to sell. As far as I know, that number from Financial Juice is just NYSE names. But if uh, someone said that Tesla had a big buy, I'm not, I'm not going to, I just said someone in the chat said that, not this guy. So we'll have to wait to see what happens there uh, on that play. I know AMD is coming back down. We have very, very little shares uh, left on AMD as we got it out uh, very, very responsibly as we went right up to the top. Uh, we talked about that, what we were, that we were getting out of this name. So coming right back in, we're going to get out if this breaks that bottom right here. I'm not going to hold it all the way. We have imbalances coming out in just a couple seconds. So that's definitely going to influence it. I'm actually going to put the stop order in right now to get out if it breaks 70. And then Amazon, that order's in already as well. I meant to talk about about this was at the 200 period. So we're long Amazon at 101.08. We're gonna get out if it breaks 70 in only 15 <laughs> seconds. Out comes the imbalances. Great out on Microsoft as that's falling back down right now. Out on Microsoft 75, it's down to 60. Yes, sir, and uh, imbalances in three seconds. I just have Intel. I'm gonna give it to the evens. I'm at 06s. Uh, let's see what Oops, came I'm out good. here. Uh, Bed, Bath & Beyond, seven million to sell. Ooh, Lordstown, three million to sell. Heisman, it's all these. Are, Heisman? Heisen is uh, 1.7 to sell. Oh, Apple, 770 to buy. Google to buy, 600,000. So it looks like the big names are to the buy size. But these small cap names, three big small cap names uh, to the sell side. I'm just going to check Bed Bath & Beyond out of complete morbid curiosity. Seven I had, million doesn't seem like that much. No, I have not looked at this stock. Oh, my goodness. Why are we not shorting Bed Bath & Beyond lately? Every mo oh, it actually made a move not just in the morning. Look at the, but look at this re-entry off Remember of Remember I called it Bed Bath & Bullshit? And the thing is, is that they had that $300 million fight. Party and Bullshit is what it was this Party afternoon. Party and Bullshit. I haven't heard that song that's, in a while. That's on my playlist. So it, You know what? Uh, and then it, it'll be on mine as of today. Yeah, it, it, it really it'll needs be to on be mine as of today. Uh, right there. So I'll probably listen to that uh, on, on the way. Wow, that's oh. a horrible day for Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they, they just took 300 more million out of the stock today. Well, they don't even have, it's, their, their equity is worth zero. Their equity is worth zero. I'm sorry to tell people that. You can look it up your damn self. The equity is worth nothing on Bed Bath & Beyond. I mean, again, it could get squoze. Shout out to Prad for that one. Um, if they buy some, uh, well, they actually bought, no, it was, uh, Highcroft Mining was AMC. I was yeah. going to say, maybe they can restructure somehow like that. But I don't know, Bed Bath & Beyond, you guys, I'm just looking at the numbers and everything there. We can see uh, what's going on. 1.4 billion to buy. Did you drop that number yet? That's what it was. No, what, I didn't see uh, What's up, Brenda? Introing her. So no comments yet because of, of this. They're, they've been talking for five, legit. They've been talking for five minutes and they're introducing her. Uh, if you just want to go to my screen, we can quickly. There you go. So still, still on the intro phase here. And introducing them is not even behind that podium. Why? Like, what's the point like, of the what podium? What is that podium doing standing there? In front and then the Jenny podium. Yellen just like standing there. Doot, 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 doot. Uh, yeah, so that should be really fun uh, to see what happens there. So it's just, not like Steven Gutenberg is hiding underneath that podium. Just stand in front of it. What is that for uh, Ghostbusters? Or? Oh, a police academy. A police. Uh, do you remember the scene? It's the. Uh, the best part about police academy is the guy that does all the. Jones uh, with the voices. Yeah, Jones. What's yeah. crazy? That dude or was high on. High Tower. No, but he was on. So the guy was famous in the '80s for doing voice impressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and making making noises, which were fantastic. He's really good at it. And then he ended up on like America's Most Talented or one of those shows or. Yeah. You know those ones. It's like you're already famous. I watched you on in movies when I was a kid, and then all of a sudden you're showing up on a talent and show there was like six as if you're not academies. literally the best in the world at what you already do. Anyways. Um, I mean, Hightower was not Michael messing Winslow, around. Michael Winslow, that's his name, Michael. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a blonde uh, lady that was a, like a no-nonsense cop as well. Yep. Uh, she was awesome. Everybody loved Tackleberry, though. Wow, well, that was... Right? I mean, that, yeah, that, didn't he have like a pistol that was like maybe a revolver that was like this yes. long? He always, had, he always had a gun that was way too big. That was the whole point. 
He, like every single scene. That's my was, kind of guy. And he was the first, he, no matter the situation, he was the first one to bring it up. However, what's crazy, you, if you go back and watch it, go back and watch any of the police academy, Tackleberry always had perfect, and I'm talking perfect gun safety. Uniform? Like, you'd see, like, he'd never make any mistakes with it. He'd make sure it's wholesome right situation, finger off the trigger when it should be. Just go back and no. watch those, man. They did attention to detail in those comedies. Uh, he always made sure he did it right. Just going to throw it out there. I'm a huge old school, like, 80 movie buff, too, as well. For sure, man. We talked about Karate Kid the other day. There's so many good ones. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, it's 9.53 right talk. now. Uh-oh. Oh, there she is. Hello. There she, she's in front of the uh, podium. Cover your longs. Oh, come on. Is that Snow White? What is that on the right there? No, that's from um, Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird, that's what's, right. What's her name? Uh, who knows? Is Jenna, there Jenna Yellen's mom? Yeah, does that character Wil in Looney Tunes even have Someone a name? said Wilma? What's her name? In the, I don't know. No, you guys no, Prad it. said Wilma, but that's not what it is. Uh, Wilma! That's we all know, Yeah, we all know about the on. Flintstones. Another classic mo uh, show yes. there. Bad movie, classic. You know what I used to watch with Her my... name was just Granny. That's it. Very creative. Uh, okay, so, all right, maybe we can go short Disney. Uh, all right, so let's go. Uh, just in case you guys are wondering, you know, this Disney. still is a show, but we still, it's, there's five minutes left in the day. I mean, we both are out. I only have long Amazon, and I just want to talk about where we got out of AMD. Uh, I got out at 98. Like, you know, it dipped down there. We were almost... Actually, yeah, I canceled my stop order. We are going to get out at if it broke 70. So, again, it's not a huge, it, it's a nice win. I mean, it, it went, it did exactly what we called it. We called this move. That's why we got out on the way back up. And then we were really hoping that we could test this high, but that didn't happen. So a good trade for AMD. And then it just broke back down below 98. When that happened and the imbalances came out, I chose that opportunity to get out because otherwise I was going to get out down here, which is where we're going right now. So a nice out at 98 uh, for these guys. <laughs> Did we not? What is that's a bottom hold wick? A uh, hold on a second. That's a bottom wick right there for Amazon. 85. All right. My out's a break of 85 on Amazon. I'm going to do that. What are you laughing about? No, I'm just wondering if we actually. We probably should have closed that bet on Streamlabs. Like, you should, like how is the bet still open? No, but the odds must be really to, bad. Yeah, but it's there's four minutes to go. We're closing green. Anyone that throws the bet is just automatically winning at this point. And so everyone's just gonna throw Tried's that. Brad's in. in charge of this. I, I have. And we got next that. time we close the bet on this. Hopefully anyone's listening to me. We got to close these bets a little bit sooner because obviously we're gonna end green at this point unless Yellen says something really disgusting. I mean, now everyone's just gonna do it. I'm not gonna shh, Darwin. Heck, I tried to bet myself everything I had. I'm not sure it worked. I'm if doing you are, it. You already, if you already have a bet, I'm not sure you can again. But I tried. Why not? Let's see what happened. Um, Fahad's happy because I think he might be winning because he's not complaining anymore. So uh, I don't even four, know how to do it. Four minutes to go. I'm just uh, trying to throw. I already bet 500 on green. When I, I, I don't know if it lets you bet twice. I tried. Maybe it does. I'm checking right now. I don't know, man. The chat is going nuts. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Like, the chat is just going, <laughs> well, we'll talk about it afterwards. It's fun to do. All right. Um, if Amazon can keep going, that's great. Let's just check out Apple real quick. Um, I'm not here tomorrow. I wish everybody a great weekend. Uh, and hopefully your trading is very, very profitable uh, tomorrow on the stream uh, as well. But, okay, here we go. Uh, Apple right now, yeah, 162.30, a yeah, nice little day here for Apple. Bouncing off of 162 right now, so that's a good one uh, coming through. 162.50 as the high. We wrote down on the sticky note that we really liked 162, but Apple today kind of boring, not much happening. What, unless you got, again, during the midday, I mean, right here, it was actually right when we went back on at 2 o'clock, everything came back, most things came back just before 2 o'clock into that opening range. So I think that, although I won't be here, I think that that's the same kind of strategy that I would use for tomorrow again. It would just be like, stay in the opening range, let it settle down, and give you that direction. I'm not sure it's going to be a free fall Friday or a rip your face off rally day uh, but at the same time it's been up like the last couple days man I mean the Nasdaq has been super super pumped uh, here and I, I mean you know from this bottom this goes back I mean this is what's today's the 30th so you have the 26th here we were up here uh, before you made that move down to 12600 then it's just been bump 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 again today and what goes bump in the night how about taking out this 13.1 right now? It's trying to bounce off of it again, but there's that high rate there that was made. I told you guys earlier that it was 13.1. I mean, forget about that high. We took that out just now. It's this one, 13.108. So we'll see if we can do that here on the NASDAQ at the close. Uh, we won't do it. It's 13.080 right now, but that's what I look at for tomorrow, that 13.1, 13.2, uh, and then you're off to the races. If we open above 13.1 tomorrow, 
then you could get that 2% move to the upside. Let's wait to see if that happens. Two minutes left. Yeah, two minutes to go. One thing I know, I'm like 208 on meta. We actually, we're still at 08 on meta here. That's a breakout all day. Um, obviously, you can short that level. That's usually what I do for, uh, for a scalp trade. But with two minutes to go, this is closing up. Up 1%. You can look at flat bottom breaks, flat top breaks. That is one. Resisted it all day, resisted it all last week. I'm there for it if it wants to go. Uh, so I'm not sure who's going to be on the bell. We'll have some fun with it. I feel like it should be, I feel like it should be Fahad because he was the big winner on his blackjack. Um, but we'll see. Uh, was Intel a sell imbalance? Actually, did you see? Wherever, whatever it was for a sell yeah, imbalance, it's a Intel, buy now. it's a buy now. Like it, it might have come out of sell, but it's a buy imbalance now. I just covered four million. It has on it. Yeah, it's four million paired. I covered because it was like the market wasn't going anywhere, and it looks like it broke down. I think it was a sell imbalance because I got out at three fifty when it started coming down. There it wasn't really moving off the afternoon, but Intel, I still like the longs. You know, if it's above thirty one, I'll probably look long first. Thirty two was a great long all day long today, so. But it was lower highs all the way through. No flat bottom break. That's at least a good sign. Fahad is definitely pleased. He is going to be there. And yes, John Spruill, Fahad wins the world. He at least wins at blackjack. We'll give him that much. Uh, he's a good blackjack player. We have player. no idea what his ending balance is. Allegedly. We'll find out. Hopefully we can have one of those poker nights and uh, we'll see how he does it at a, at a real game. Uh, because I'm not sure he's played poker before. You played Hold'em before? Yeah. He's played Texas Hold'em. Oh, this is going to oh, be it's a on. He says he's never lost a hand. It's on like Donkey Kong right there. You're he is. so toasty. What's going on right now? Oh, yeah, he's flexing. Three. No, bro, your, your girl's not watching. And one. Let's go. Yo, Fahad, you get handle at the poker table. In our, uh, what, there this? it is. What we, one thing this guy has told me. What's that? He never, know, he never knows if I'm joking. Right. I'm not going to have that. That's right. That's true. He got you on that one, Neil. Neil claims to be good at reading people. Can he read Fahad? I ain't, I ain't scared. So Fahad just said that Neil's it's a whole admitted. Different, it's a whole different ball game when you're actually putting money on the line, Fahad. Then you're going to become Fahad very... Ain't scared of money, You'll though. be very readable when you're at a poker table. I'll tell you that right now. I can't wait Fahad's to gonna be, I get Fahad's the kind of guy who's going to have tons of... He'll have tons and tons of tells. Tons Shot, of tells. Shots fired everywhere right now. You tons guys don't tells. even. I, I, I feel like, you know, we were talking about having a podcast and things like that. Like, imagine we did like a live streaming poker. Well, and so then we could, people could do like. No, I'll, bet. I'll, before we go to Brennan for anything, I, I'm going to say this because I've, I've told this story before, but I got to mention this one. I actually don't online gamble because when I started trading, I would go home from trading and then I would play online poker. And I would do it every single day, and I would play. I wasn't even working out. I put on some weight. I just wasn't happy with myself. So I stopped. I do not, I do not online poker play anymore. I don't online gamble on sports I, I or anything like that. I thought you said that you were just doing like, kind of like... Um, Dude, I was playing it every single day. And you know who got me into it. No, but, but I mean, it's not, uh, big, it's not, not real money, though, I don't think. Because, <laughs> oh, it was? Oh, okay. The best game, I'm telling you right now, the best game back in the day when poker got big, it was high-low Omaha. When no one, yes. had, no one had any concept of the high-low game, so you could always just clean up by having an understanding of playing the low hand. So it was free money for a while. That all went away when the bots got out there and all that nonsense. You had to play like eight tables at a time. So uh, anyways, that's another story. Well, I guess, so I mean, I, I, I have to have been excluded from this. Darwin I, won. Yeah, but I yeah, bet 500 there. on green though. So how could I have only, I mean, I would be up here, right? Uh, unless, you know, so anyways. I guarantee you, you, you missed a zero on bet 50. That's what happened. No, sure. no, no, no. For I sure. Oh, 50, okay. Yeah, All right, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fine. So what's up to, it doesn't matter. What's up to Darwin, Beat Fanatic right here, Take Profit. These are the new leaderboard uh, right now for the points. So we'll have some more fun with this. And we're going to have some more fun, exciting things to do. So that's what it's all about, man. We're going to do some... Cool thing. Shout out to Pratt and Fahad uh, for all that. But I like my idea of somehow streaming a poker game if we can get that figured out Hell yes. uh, at some point. And then, well, like Neil said, man, everything changes when you're sitting down and you need to make decisions. Um, and it, it kind of goes to paper trading, right? It's like that's what we try to tell everybody. His pride will get the best of him. That's the problem. And, and you said that about the best poker players in the world is that they don't change up their game whether or not the pot is 100000 yeah. $100, $1. You play with the same strategy. Therefore, it is scalable. So we're going to find out very, very soon. I'm, I'm organizing this. It oh, does, I, it, this is happening. Uh, now. I want the chat to remind me when things slow down tomorrow, remind me to tell you I took the worst beat 
in trading in, in this trading floor's history. And it's not it wasn't the biggest monetary beat, but it but was that was against a guy that he had so was much money. He around. had so much money that he didn't care and would play blind. And I had it was a it, I'll explain it tomorrow, but it was the worst beat you could possibly imagine in a game of poker. Brendan, how do we finish up? Are we even doing that? Did we forget about Brendan? Uh, positive, guys. Nice green day. Mark's fine. He's fine. It's just the ladder. Uh, no, no, it's just the ladder. It's, it's fine. Uh, here's how we uh, are looking to end the session. About half a percent there for the S&P 500. 0.29 for the Russell uh, 2000, the only one in the red when all is said and done. It, l it looked a little questionable there at one point this afternoon when we came back on. But uh, nice strong close to end the day. No, Kenny means, before we go, I'll ask you, I'll ask you this question. Uh, you get the points. They're like watch points. So the more you watch and engage in the chat... Um, every single day, if you're logging like in and you're engaging in the chat, I don't, know, I don't know exactly how it works, like point a minute or what it is, but there is the leaderboard. Where Darwin. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, there what? it is. Points per interval. Five a minute? You get five points per minute that watching. That seems a lot, bro. Oh, you have to actually chat in the chat. That's the gotcha. active users. And you have to be a sub to be when in the chat. you become a member. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's cool. All right. All right, thanks for that, Pride. Yeah, we'll get this all figured out. I still think we should do a PDF that we could sort of throw to every once so in a while. So people know what's going instead on. Instead of doing that because, uh, unfortunately, it's, it is very hard to watch. But okay, guys, thanks again for everybody today, man. What a, what a fantastic day. I think we had a lot of fun. We introduced a few new things. We're going to say go Jays go on all this, man, and get that going. Um, and a shout-out to Brendan. Thanks for all the news today. Uh, Max, Sharif, everything. I'm, I'm going to see everybody on Monday, and, and hopefully everyone can have a good day tomorrow. Um, and hopefully everyone's baseball team wins. Well, Most that, importantly, that, whoever has St. Louis, that can't happen. hopefully they can't win. Yeah. Uh, and we can have the Jays today. So, hey, for everybody here at Trader TV Live, I want to give a big shout-out to everybody working the board today. Justin, you saw him on the show. Liz, Katrine, uh, Greg in the background. We filled some fun stuff with him today as well. But, hey, it's time to go grab a beer, grab some hot dogs, enjoy. Pretzels, maybe. Brennan's a baseball fan. There's no denying that. Yeah. Brennan played baseball. Exactly. It was good. Exactly. But he wouldn't uh, play on my men's league team. That's... Who, Brendan? Uh, in, okay, let's go on, guys. Neil. I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> wow, Neil. <laughs> our, right. our, our ace pitcher would live downtown, Brendan. He okay. commuted. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. No one's playing baseball that's anymore. Neil's too old. I'm too old. Brendan's too old. We're all too old. Uh, but let's go we'll play in a beer men's league. How about that? Well, all three will join that. We'll play downtown or Brampton or something like that. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Hope your night is well and catch you on the flip side.